Bam. Deck one, deck two. We're back, man. You get me? This is episode, episode, episode nine. Is it nine? Yeah. Episode nine, man. Mad thing. Nine. Now, listen, we got to do a bit of a... We're going to have to do a quick U-turn on what we had planned for episode nine, you know, because last night, bro, versus mm. Bounty Killer, Beanie mm. Man. Mm. I don't even want to talk about it too much right now. I think we should invite some people in for this particular conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, one, so, this one's a group discussion. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely, definitely. So, yeah, Deck Deuce in the building. You know what I mean? Representing. It's all good. <laughs> well, you're not going to get over that, is it? You're not getting over that. I don't know if we're going to get used to that one still. <laughs> deck one, deck one in the building. But, yeah, man. We got everyone that listened last week. Um, we got a good bit of feedback on that one. Feedback yeah, was, was nice. Feedback was nice, innit? It was healthy. I mean, um, a lot of people were, you know, happy with the stories and interested by the stories and mm. yeah man so that was a good one we got the guys that was on last week's one uh, we got everyone just going back listening to the old ones sharing it liking it subscribing you know what i mean mm. if you're not already subscribed subscribe to the youtube if you're not already following on soundcloud follow on the soundcloud also don't forget very important as well spotify definitely you know what i mean that like we leave out the Spotify sometimes, but Spotify, because I know some people just want to listen on Spotify, so make sure you're locking on the Spotify as well. And yeah, man, tell a friend to tell a friend, deck one, deck two. Come Every on, man. We're DJing. We've got Music, covered. DJing, hosting, MCing, the club life. So yeah. anything anything to do with that, because obviously... All genres, all genres covered. Everything, man. You know what I mean? So make sure you check it out. And obviously... We aim to get as many DJs on as possible. All right, it's that Royal Rumble time, bro. Who's the first person we got rolling up in the building today? Five, you get me? Four, you get three, me? Two. Because you know we have special guests every single week. Hey, that was on time as well. Boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> hey, that was actually on time. That's sick. He's yeah. here, man. There you, you, you go. Got, you, got, uh, you know what, though? We have the same. You know what? We're going to have to start telling them in the group, yeah? So they get in there, they go, I'm with the mic. Yeah, yeah, from early. That stuff. So, who, who we got here? Who we got here? Man, like... Go on, go on, the bearded man, they call me right now. Fam, I'm, boy, it's mad like that. Boy, you've, you know what? You've just joined. We're all in the same boat, bro. <laughs> Listen, i got a trim coming tomorrow morning, rude boy. I'm blessed. Yeah? yeah? I made sure my barber ain't trimmed nobody else. It's, uh, it's open. You know, a little sighting at the back of the shop. He said, for you... I told him what I need to do, cause man got a couple of things that I need to I need to be trimmed ready for, for a few lives. Yeah. So they said it will open up for me one away. You know what I mean? Mad thing. See that? I got conspiracy in the building. Original in DJ conspiracy. All right, we got someone else in my first. Give them the run. Give them the rundown. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this is working out sick, bro. Da -da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba. Royal Rumble yes. business. There, you know. Hey. Who we got? Who we got in the book? Who's the owner? Who's that? I swear that looks like money, man. What owner? Who's that? Is that, the, is that money? <laughs> There's money in the building. Don't look okay. bad. <laughs> <laughs> we got X rated from Love Connection in the building. What's got going on, man? Then what's going on? We're here, man. No, we're no, here. No, no, no. And you can hear me good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you sound clear, man. You sound clear. Good, 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 good. Episode nine, deck one, deck two podcast. Today, I'm telling you. This is this one is in, in what's the word? What's the word? You know when you just do it off the cuff. What's the word? Impromptu. Is that Spontaneous. Yeah. Spontaneous. Yeah. yeah, bro. Like mm. we had a we had something planned. We had but, a plan. You know, but then Bounty Killer and Beanie Man say, Yo, yellow, chains are planned. Chains are planned. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? <laughs> Definitely got to change that. that and have a little chat about that because Historic moments, historic moments. We've got a couple more people rolling in the building. Um, so in the meantime, between time, if you guys just give us a little lowdown on, on yourself, introduce yourself to the, to the podcast and to the world, you know what I mean? So we start with the first person who came in the building. Give us a little rundown on who you be. Yeah, I'm Conspiracy, um, or DJ Conspiracy, or I'm just a DJ, um, guy in the business for, let me see how many years I've been in this business for now. 17, I think. I might be on my 17th year, going up to 18th year officially. 
right? From the moment of getting bookings to doing events, travel around the world, used to do radio, come off of it, mixtape, butcher, you know, just an entrepreneur in this business game. It's doing my thing. And now he's got the beard bigger than, bigger than anything. Bigger <laughs> than Santa. Yeah, oh, I ain't had a trim since March. Yeah, yeah. Too. It moving mad. And, who, and, and who, who we got? Who we got over here on the other side? Uh, hi, DJ X Rated representing Love Call, Love Connection. Been in the business. Pff, what were you, 2020? So you're looking at about 22 years, probably about 98. Please. I would Love say. Um, I well. I'm from like sound system culture, innit? So my uncle, my family used to have a sound back in the days from North London called Champagne Sound. So that's from, that was originally my granddad's sound. So that's, that sounds like an expensive sound, boy. Champagne. Champagne. But I don't even know where they get their name from. Every time I hear it, I laugh. <laughs> so yeah, from that now, I used to kind of roll with them and kind of wrap up the wires them and carry the record yeah. them. And they got the, the good schooling. You got the good schooling. Yeah, that you know, you got the three, four amplifier and all these things. Oh, blood. So I'm from them days, and then obviously we've evolved with the technology, and yeah, we're here, 2020, still doing it. Mad thing. Yeah, man, love connection, you know. If for those who don't know, I'm 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 a real I'm real in it. The only clash I've lost ever is a love connection. That's you get me? <laughs> Wahala. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what? you know, you know what that that, that clash. It's not a real clash. clash. It's not a real clash, but I lost in it. I lost. You know what? You see the clash, the whole clash thing. Yeah, you see the yeah. whole clash thing. I'm not, I'm not a clash sound. I yeah. tell a man straight, I'm not a clash sound. I got a handful of dubs, mm. a handful. So I wouldn't go into a proper clash yeah. and clash no one because I don't have the artillery to do it. Mm. You get but what a, little, but a little fun thing, you can work thing. with. I will do it, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's forty-five standard. shooter. Come on, extra. I've known you for years. Right, a 45 shooter, I know you're on it for fun. Yeah, for the cool, culture. Man. Man would listen, I don't. You see this sound clash thing, yeah? People take it. You know what it is? The why people don't do it is because they take it too seriously. Yeah, way too, too seriously. Yeah. Like, I can't lie, that's me still. I can't lose it. I, I don't like it. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's your ego, man. you gotta let, you got to let it go. I don't, I don't like to lose, but you see, if it's a worthy winner, I get, I, I get it to you, innit? It is what it is. Have we got uh, in the building? Have we got in the building now? Have we got in the building now? Yo, 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 yo. Check, mm. check. Who we got in the building? Oh, boy, boy. And, we, and we can only see that like, half your face, bro. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, they, yeah, there you go. Aye. What, what, what you say, my brother? Turn up your, um, your mic a bit, man. Hold on one second. That's it. Yeah, is that better? Yes, man. Yeah. Well, go on. Welcome, welcome to Deck 1, Deck 2. Introduce yourself to the world, my bro. So it's Marcus Drama representing fully equipped sound. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just have one. Yeah. Chill out. Sunday vibes. Man, thing. Mm -hmm. Man, drama. So how long you been in the business, bro? Well, I would say about 18 years. Um, in regards to playing to the public, I would yeah. say about 18 years. From Pirate Radio, um, from when I was like 16. Yeah. The clubs, um, yeah, so from then, really. You know what I'm saying? Be a history around now. Be a history around now. <sighs> hmm. it's, either, it's either we look at it like bare history or we look at it like we're old. So I like to look at history. <laughs> I like to look at the history. Yeah. Yeah, history, sounds sounds good. Good. history sounds good. History yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's saying be an old man in the place. It don't, it don't <laughs> have the same thing. <laughs> and you know some youngers are listening like, bro, what the hell old they are? Yeah, yeah. Must <laughs> say 18 years, 20 years. 20 years. You know what? Uh, These youngers will never understand the struggle of what we had to go to from the start. Well, what bro, now? Fam, man. I had to I had to travel with my dad up to Manchester as a youth. So a little a little Jamaican boy flying into England with a lisp. And I used to have to go Manchester, Birmingham, drink up sound, sit on the box with a baby sham in my hand. <laughs> right? And and beg it, right? Or a pan eye. And that was it. And I literally had to sit in the back of the van all the way up as a 12-year-old or whatever else it was. And you know what? That's a bit That's a bit mad because when I was 12, my dad wouldn't give me a baby sham. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> we, had, we, had, we had the thing nice. We patted the thing nice. You see it? We, we need the people that run the bar. Because you said they had the bar. Yeah. So them time they would book out the whole venue. Yeah. And then they obviously, them and they, my dad was a part of 12 tribe sound. It was a Rasta sound from Jamaica. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So... It was like, boy, you know, say auntie and uncle them really are around the bar. So, you know, just little forward my thing. A few times I fell asleep, still get cough around the head, but it's all right. 
Wait, know. there was you just holding the bottle or was you actually drinking it? Is what we want to know. All right, reality, man had about three sips and I weren't even trying to drink too, too much more. I just had it for about a good couple hours and then I got a Lucas Aid or a ginger beer, you know what I mean? Hey, so what are you saying? So you're so you telling me you've been a poser since you were 12 then, basically? <laughs> this <laughs> guy. We're not a poser right now. This know, guy. Yeah, I didn't really taste that nice, but you know, man just had it and everyone's a big people in the dance. I didn't know nothing. And as a rustic kid growing up, man had my little red, bowl and green, my banner yeah. and them thing there and just had to just... All the meds and settle while everyone, the whole people in my do their thing. Uh, who else we got here now? We got we got someone see, in the building, but they they in. Mr. But... Uptown, so I believe that's that's our next guest, but yeah, somehow that's, that's there's, no, there's no there's no video, no audio. No, oh, he's he's folding in, man. He's folded in. He's folded in. He's come. Here we go again. See it there. See it there. So let me remove this one here. Okay. Every... Every device. Every device. <laughs> hey! Wagwan! <laughs> Wagwan! Is it all? Wagwan! The mic, the mic, your mic's off. Your mic's off. Let me take it this off. How old that, Corey? Yo! What? Oh, it's it's expensive, fam. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uptown! There! Oh, like, wow. Yeah, all right, cool. Let me try and remove these other ones. You can see the other ones, innit? Yeah, take them off, please. Let me try and remove them still. So while I go on, um, Corey, um, what we just done is um, everyone just introduced themselves to the podcast, so mm -hmm. feel free to do so also. So welcome to Deck 1, Deck 2 podcast. I've been trying to get you on for a minute, as you know. Um, you've agreed. I, you know what? I'm going to take responsibility. We've mm -hmm. got we got hold of Corey and say, yo, Corey, you say, yeah, man, we'll do it. And then Fats longed out the thing and you know what I mean? So, we apologise for that. So, respect for passing through. <laughs> Wait, why for that? Still? Sorry, why, why for that? Big, big why? All right. Sorry, I, I keep forgetting you guys are harsh Jamaicans, man. I forget that. Sorry. Why for that? Don't worry, man. Why myself for that, man? I'll, I'll wife with the harsh, too. You know what's my harsh, brother? <laughs> Can't win, you know. He can't even win. He's uptown and he's still going on bad. I you mean? It's, it's mad. But well, yeah, um, let me see who's here. Everyone here knows who I am. Anyway, oh, but no, but those who don't, don't know, for those who don't know, my name is Sir DJ Corey. I DJ. I. Yeah, that's it. The hell? How long you been DJ, you know? Too long. Um, I started DJing. In two thousand and four, in college, so sixteen and then, years. And then I went to the club. The first time I went to the club was two thousand five. I never, I never went to a club. I was never a clubber. I went yeah. to the club to DJ. So are I you serious? Through. You wasn't a raver beforehand. No. So, so what you guys? Why you have so much vibes then? The music gave me the vibe, didn't it? Mad, you would think that he was a proper raver. Yeah, that's good. That means it's natural. I was never, I, I, all right. So this is the part that no one really knows. I was never in the club, never went to the club, never drank, never smoked, none of it. I still don't drink and smoke. I just go to the club and play music. If I don't DJ, you don't see me in the club. Yeah, we've got the exclusive, we've got the exclusive, yeah? This but is why I don't get- Mad thing, because that shows that it's, the, get, it's, it's got the it's vibe. Got, I don't get invites because- <laughs> I mean, when you invite me, I'm already playing somewhere. Yeah. Mm, book out. Mm. I hear that still. That's mad. But that just shows that the vibe is in the music. And that, that's special because yeah. you would never know that. You know what I mean? So that's a good look. I'm, um, this, this, maybe that's why it's boring when I go to the club because if I'm not DJ, I don't know what to do. Ooh. All right. So let me ask you a question now. This is a big and serious question. When did you get knighted? Ah. <laughs> yeah. you know, man, everyone asks me that question here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but let me explain how the sir got on my name. Yeah. All right. When I like in 2008, my first commercial gig was actually for Barclays, right? Okay. And the lady that kept the gig it was like a Barclays Christmas party. And then I played in Buckingham Palace. 
I was, never, I was never knighted. <laughs> I just DJed for an after party for one hour. But every time I walk in the place, the man went, sir, sir, sir. And I'm like, who the hell is sir DJ? <laughs> I'm like, I can't tell him the man. My name is DJ Corey. Even when the thing came, it said, sir. And I was like, that's, that's when Twitter just started popping up, like mm. 2008, 2009. And then I was like, you know what? When I search DJ Corey, I see a hundred people. <laughs> when I type Sir DJ Corey, no one. It's just like when you type C6, who do you see? Mm. Me one. What is this? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So what I did was I said, you know what? I need to just put Sir there. There is no Sir DJ. None. Mm. Mm. Now in 2019 that people can't put in Sir DJ like it's, like it's something to use now. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I'm, I'm going to big you up and say, but even though you got, you got this knighthood, why again, right, it? But you, 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 live, you, you live up to it. No, you live up to it. You know, like, you know, like call it, having a sir title in front of your name and yeah. not having what it takes to, to represent that is, is a bit wild, but you definitely represent it well. So you deserve the sir. Big man thing. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Corey. He was the one, the first man I see Shell on the Sorrel thing. I'm not going to lie. He's the first oh, one I well, see you know Shell on the Sorrel thing differently. Like I levels. I was one of the first people on Sorrel. Yeah. Levels. Like, I, 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 I got to give it to him. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I think, you know what it is? This is what made me start DJ. When I was in Jamaica, all the man had vinyls and all that, yeah? And because, I've, so, so most people don't know, I actually was raised uptown where... There is no one walking on the road unless you live there. There's no one coming on your road and hailing you like bridges. There's none of that. I never grew up with bridges like everybody that's hung out on the corner. It wasn't mm. that. But there was a record shop that I used to pass every day. Mm. And my uncle was a DJ. But I couldn't go to the dance because my, I grew up with my grandparents. And they're Seventh-day Adventists. You can't be listening to Bashwood. It's yeah, impossible. Right. Right. My grandfather was the, like, the choir the pianist for the church. So every Sunday I'll be at a wedding because he's the organist and my grandmother's the choir leader. Wow. So yeah, there was no, nothing to do with this. So are you so unruly then? I don't get this. I'm not unruly, the music is. Corey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Every man, every man right here can say they've never heard me swear off the microphone. Now you know what, you're right. I probably haven't. I probably haven't. I probably true, haven't. True, true. And you, I'll just wait. No one, you don't hear me argue with nobody. I don't debate with nobody. I don't exchange words with nobody. I don't know. I ain't got time for that shit. Mm. Mm. Right, yeah. Oh, well, big up. Did, wow, wow. Church so really, up. really, we might as well kick off the discussion, innit? We yeah, got one more to join, but... When him forward, him forward, innit? When, when he reaches, innit? But yeah, yesterday, obviously, as we said, it was the big, 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 big versus yesterday. Bounty Killer versus Beanie Man. So obviously that's the discussion today. I just want to get you lot's take on it just to begin with. Yeah. Obviously we're going we're gonna to discuss certain points, but I want to get you lot's take. So even you see, see you lot's always kick off. What are yeah. your... So, so, so obviously Dancehall got a good forward yesterday. So ultimately Dancehall won. You know what I mean? It was great for the culture. They represented themselves very well. They represented the culture very well. A lot of respect. You know what I mean? Honorable men, like, especially people that have feud, had a feud in the past, they carried themselves very well. So it was a very good look for Jamaica, for the culture, and for everything. You know what I mean? So we got to give that a lot of respect first. So now we got to talk about the clash. Boy. <laughs> now, from the start, yeah. Ooh. I know a lot of people, if it's a clash, clash, you know, war, yeah. tune, mm. war for war, then it's, it's, it's bounty all the way for me. But you see artistry. Mm. I think being a man is, is, is untouchable. You get what I'm saying? Like in that realm, in that realm, there's artists like Cartel who's in a different lane, in my opinion, but we're sticking with that. And I feel like that's being a man's lane. So it was interesting to me because I went in there, I went to, I was watching this clash and thinking, you know what, I'm totally, I'm impartial. They are both my artists. Ooh. 
Mm-hmm. So now it's about the performance on the night. You know what I mean? But this podcast ain't about me. It ain't about facts. We want to know what we want think about it. So feel free to kick off anyway. Let's start with drama. How you feel at the clash went yesterday? Boy, the clash itself, it was, like, like you said, it was good just the concept of it because it shined the light on dance or music to that wider audience. You know what I mean? You're going to have people who obviously was watching a Joe Scott, Erica Badu, Teddy Riley, Babyface, who might not get to hear dance or regularly. So it was good to have the, the platform to showcase that. But for the clash itself, I was going there knowing I wasn't going to get sting. You know what I mean? Like, it was still going to be commercialised to a degree. But I kind of feel like the beginning was a bit too commercialised in the sense of playing the hip-hop collabs. Play one or two cool, but then play too much, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and so only when the whole police situation, then it kind of shifted and got into mm-hmm. what it really needed to be. You know what I mean? So... I, I, I had mixed feelings with the question. Okay. Okay. See, overall, I, I rated it. I was up at quite, quite a time watching it. What and, as a, yeah. and as a Jamaican, like, as a Jamaican born, furthermore, the fact that they kept certain elements like the national anthem, people mm. don't know. I know man like Corey would know. When you go to the cinema in Jamaica, you say the national anthem. That's the first thing you learn as a child. So to create the, the world... Yeah, listen, you go to you go to the in Jamaica, they'll play the national anthem. There'll be a half time break in the cinema and everything, and you pick up and restock up on your food and everything. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. very much I'm not gonna lie, you and Corey are definitely uptowners because I didn't even know Jamaica had cinema. <laughs> no, nah, there's that like one. There was at the time growing up, there was that like one. There was one. No, like the cinema were even a new it was a new t- it's only the last Corey, tell me if I'm wrong, what, fifteen years, if that the cinema? All right, so the, cin- the cinema was always there, yeah. But you see, in Jamaica, we don't glorify things like that. Mm. Like we are more, even though we're up, uh, say example, we might say we're uptown here, but Jamaica is so yard. Mm-hmm. Jamaican side of Jamaica, you don't know unless you research it. Like mm-hmm. no one actually knows. Like, say example, we go to Dunjiva. Did you know that there's an actual zip line at Dunjiva Falls? No. Exactly. I, I found out recently. I found out recently. It's always been there. I knew about that. Bro. There is like, there's like across the road from Dunsville Falls, there's Dolphin Cove. If you go there, you can pay to swim at the dolphins, but you can pay for the whole day. Some people don't know you can pay for one dolphin or something like that. There's things about Jamaica that you don't know if you don't ask. Mm. It's true. Yeah, it's the enough I, I, I used to go, I used to go Excelsior, right? So I have to pass crossroads most of the time. See the big school there. So when you, when you go, when you go, when you go past Crossroad, Carib is right there. We all know it's a cinema, but no one actually knows that in the daytime. So in the daytime, if you and, and no one passed Crossroad in the nighttime, <laughs> because when you pass Crossroad and go downtown, it's a bad people place to go. It's like you don't mm. want to go there. Mm. So the cinema is right in the middle of where you want to go, but you don't want to go after hours. Okay, okay. Very it's, not, go. it's not like a view or a, or a showcase where you can just go in the car park. This is car park. There's no car park. <laughs> basically, like, basically, Carib is like on, on Homerton High Road where the fucking fire station is. You can't miss it. But okay. you don't want to go there in the daytime, in the nighttime. Mm. Because yeah, yeah. You never know. The man on the block might be like, eh, oh, yo. You understand yeah, me? Uh, okay. it's, it's, it's weird. It's still... weird. Like, that's how but, it is. Like, go on, but not. What may I say now is like, you see, we like, even onto the, the cinemas or Jamaicans were very patriotic, mm-hmm. yeah, and yeah. and so everything we're the foremost. Like we make sure that our flags are everywhere. So the fact that they did that and they introduced it properly, mm-hmm. automatically yeah. got my heartstrings. Like yeah, they're, they're doing this right, and then um, so that made me proud. And I believe it was because they did the DigiCell thing before, you know. So people a couple of weeks back they did the DigiCell thing, the show back to back, etc. And they waited, they went on the right platform. I'm with drama with. When I was listening to some of the hip hop remix, I was like, I even forgot I even had certain tunes. I was like, Rah, I forgot that. But I think they did one or two too many before they went into it. And then when the police come, you know what? It kind of added authenticity to Jamaica, if I'm going to be Bro, honest. I thought that as well, too. Right? I, it could have been staged. I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? It was, it was yeah. I could see, I've been in so many dances in Jamaica yeah. and I've seen it yeah. locked off 
Yeah. I think I remember last time I was in fiction. I just see lock up. I, no one don't even know no reason. There's no yeah. fight, no nothing. Nothing. Like, no one's even smoking inside there. They just lock up. Like police just walk you just come and turn on the lights. Yeah. So I was like, raw. <laughs> and then when they went into the um the rhythms, the showtime rhythm, especially mm. when they did the um the melody on it, the medley, mm. I was getting gas. Mm. I'm a phone on house party. I was get in my living room, the TV. I was getting gas. These are the tunes that we play all the time. Everyone in this room plays them tunes there, Ooh. right? I was on it. And then what they did when I heard actual dub plates to remind the world, like this is a dub plate. So people that listen to like Red Bull Culture Clash and other things, they can kind of get an idea if they didn't catch it before. Mm -hmm. They understand it was dub plates. And then the creativity, we're all DJs. If I give everybody here 10 tunes to play in a time frame, we're all going to play it differently, right? 10 different Ooh. tunes. No matter even if it's the same rhythm. But the way in which they come with the creativity with that mean tune, whatever, bad, bad. I just didn't like the too much hip hop thing. All right, cool, cool. X rated. Um, yeah, just to mirror what the mandem has said, um, I, I always knew, I always thought that they would come with that. That first part where they did the, the old collab with the hip hop, I knew they was going to come with that because I think of the platform they was on. Mm -hmm. So wherever they're looking at something that's going to come afterwards, Future in the future, that we can, mm -hmm. maybe our works can come. Mm -hmm. be, so let's play them tune there, and mm -hmm. you know it was more. I think it was strategic the way they did that. Mm -hmm. So um, playing out the, the the three or four hip hop tunes, I kind of knew that was coming. It was just which ones were they gonna play. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think like everyone said, when the, the piece come in now and then the, the, the medley, the medley for me was legendary. Like mm -hmm. who would, who don't know about back to back clashing, sting, and that sort of vibe? They got that in that five minutes there. Mm -hmm. So if they have never seen that before, they've seen it now and they know what it's about. So they could actually now maybe go on YouTube and look about that and follow it up and maybe see the history that them two actually had. Because obviously there's a lot of history between them two and mm -hmm. the war they've had. So yeah, I thought that was a good thing, a very good thing for um, Jamaican music and it's put it on the map on a different level now with the numbers right. that they got. Good, good. Corey, Uptown. What are you telling me? I just, I, I started watching it. So I started from it started anyway. And I saw the DJs playing and I was like, it had to be us, man. <laughs> <laughs> they were bad. Why were they so bad? <laughs> <laughs> First, this happens every week, bro. It has to be the Jamaican to have a whole dance. <laughs> warm up warm up. Who, who has a warm up DJ? For a virtual clash. <laughs> Fam. Yo. Were they nervous though? Were they nervous? Because they were no. making a whole heap of mistakes. Never. Ooh, who were the DJs? Yeah, yeah. they're making a whole heap of mistakes. Can I tell you something now? You know them, Corey? Your people there? The them? DJs were playing one for one, fam. The whole juggling. Oh, is that what they were doing? Okay, two different okay. laptops. Mm. Yeah, can I see the two laptops there? But I thought was was no, that was serious stuff. And Kurt Riley by himself. And Richie B by himself. Bad. Bad. Okay. Bad. I'll be honest with you. The way they looked yesterday, it looked like a madness. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Kurt Riley is levels. Mm -hmm. And I don't rate people. They don't like people. <laughs> Kurt Riley, <laughs> don't like people. They chose the wrong platform to <laughs> have a bad day. No, no, no. It's not even a bad day. Remember, bad. it's not a bad day. It's because you didn't know. It's a bad day for us DJs because yeah. we know. Mm. For you, you're saying it because you thought that. Yeah. When I'm telling you they're on an SZ controller with yeah. two laptops, fam, playing mm. one for one, bro. Yeah. It's well, not you know what? They should have, they should have kind of explained it. Not, not, oh, not explained it, but no, no, no. What I'm saying is, remember, yeah, you have to, you have to understand, like, like what x rated is saying, the rest of the world don't know, innit? So sometimes you've got to say certain things. I hear you. We're just going to do one for one. We're just going to do one for one. Yeah, but if facts, you say it, facts. Yeah. This is the problem. As a DJ, who gives mm. shits, fam? Oh yeah, got three hundred thousand people. Three hundred thousand people watching, fam. Two mistakes yeah, ain't killing nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're not even making a mistake, really. And they're, they're not even making mistakes. what they're making. One is, one. What they're making is slow and slow down mistakes, fam. Pitch mistakes. It's nothing. There was mm. one drastic mistake where one guy played a song and it was rarely low speed from the other one. I was like, huh? No, but you what? know what? I'm not even talking about from the aspect of the mixing and all that. Like, like I wasn't even really watching that. But I'm talking about even in the clash. Like, it oh, yeah, like yeah, 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 they yeah, hadn't yeah. had things set up. So that's like, the thing. 
That's yeah, they took a few bad ups from, from the artists. They took a few bad ups. No, yeah. The thing is, yeah, under this art, right, this is where it becomes now. When you become a Tory DJ, you understand, fam. It's not it's it's serious business when you work with another DJ mm -hmm. to distract you and your artist to deal with you at the same time. <laughs> and then your artist comes to you and says, Don't play number one again, play number yeah. nine. What's number nine again? It's that <laughs> and then the song is not labeled that. And then you're like, What am I supposed to play then? And yeah. then he goes, yeah, play that. And they expect you to find it like that. Mm. But you didn't label it properly. So you're all yeah. in the middle of nowhere. Me, I just, well, you know, I was just waiting for the songs. And then they started with the collabs. And I was like, Bounty, we don't want to hear that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I but think he's weak on that. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. it's not like he's weak yet. But he's trying mm. to keep these collabs artists mm. knowing that, listen, fam, we've done this. And yeah, I've been I know you're here, so hear what? Listen to that. Mm. Remember, all the dancehall songs, you know, they do them all the time. Yeah. When they go to stage shows, they don't do the collabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I've got artists that have so many collabs that they never perform them. Mm -hmm. So if you have a platform like that and all the American artists are listening, yeah. you want to collab with them. Exactly. You're going to yeah. play collabs. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. show them, say, you listen. <laughs> when Beanie Man, when B -Man, B Man dropped the Maya collab, yeah. Terry also was like, yo! No, I didn't remember. This is Shanti, Shanti was like, I'm on the counter whining or something like that. <laughs> yeah. When this is Bounty what I Killer, thought. When Bounty Killer realized that bad girl Riri said, what, Rihanna? So he's uh, in the for that. Um, Bounty, um, can I get a little one ad-lib? Mm -hmm. You get me? I yeah. see that. I see so it worked. It was, it was, Strategic. I personally, I personally like The Clash. It's good mm. for them as artists. Yeah. My other opinions, we will speak about another time. But for now, I would say... We'll speak about today. Clash, we'll speak about today. Wait, man. The Clash was on point for them. Mm. It works. Branding-wise, Bounty and Beanie right now is trending. Yeah. Every hip-hop artist right now wants a verse on Bounty because they realize that, yo, you want the bad man lyrics to them. Mm. And yeah. every girl wants a collab from Beanie, man. Yeah, yeah. They're supposed to. This is supposed to be the resurgence of them two. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. All right. So yeah. listen. So we've yeah. heard about. We've heard about what everyone thinks. No facts. You tell me what you think quickly, and then. Oh yeah. So, so my opinion. I thought. I thought like like what Corey was saying. It was a. Obviously, it was a little bit like oh, why are they playing this song or why are they playing that song. All of that in the beginning. Mm. But I knew personally. I didn't expect them to be in the room together like that. I thought it was actually going to do the verses. Like everyone else who's split screen, talk a little bit, play a song, and that was it. So I was surprised it was, they was there anyway. Then obviously I didn't I didn't know what they was gonna do when it was together, but they still done the same kind of thing to begin with. And I thought that was sick. They played the songs, and I believe, like Corey was saying, it was more to like educate the people that's locked in. The other artists might not know in it. There's better artists in the world now that might not have known about them in two early two thousands or ninety nine or whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? So it's a good idea to play them songs and they go, oh, oh he's got a song with Ja Rule's in it, right? He's got a song with Ja Rule. Mm. Oh, Finn's in it. He's got a song with, do you know what I'm saying? And it's people that are still here right now mm. and you've had songs with them from before I, some of them were even born. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? And they're locked in and they're saying, raw. I didn't know they were that big in it. I knew they were big or whatever, but I didn't know in it. So sometimes mm. you have to think, raw. maybe they're just here to educate the people as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Thing is, yeah, with, uh, with, with dancehall, yeah, mm. most people that are big in dancehall are not over the board big. So yeah. you're not going to see them on your playlist, your, mm. your, your top 10 list or anything, but they're raking in the peas and they're getting shows. Mm. Yeah. Like, you'll never see a, say example, a busy signal mm. on, on, on wireless. No. Yeah. You, you won't see a popcorn on wireless. Might be one day eventually, but mm. you will think that they're not big. But then you go to a festival in Rotterdam or, yeah. or Germany and, yeah. and they're headlining it. They're at the top of the list, fam. Money. And they're collecting like 60 racks. Yeah. But then yeah. you'll, book, you'll book, say, example, Meek Mill, and Meek Mill will charge my with the same 60 racks. But mm. then you'll know him because he's famous. Yeah. 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 I'd make you right. You, you know, I like, states are playing here. Before last night, you know they weren't verified on Instagram, so Ooh. they didn't have the blue tick. 
Bounty Killer and Beanie Man last night because I checked it out before and I was like, right, hold on, are they gonna? No, are no. they going on? Bounty, burst? Bounty had his stick, man. He had his stick because when I check it, I was like, right, I couldn't see no blue tick. Get me correct hey, me if I'm wrong. You, can I tell you what the difference I see after that show yesterday? All right, Versus had six hundred and sixty thousand people after the first post. Million, aren't they? Now they have one point one million. Right. Sure. I like it. What I'm telling. Listen to me. I, I, I see. I say nothing. Bounty. Bounty had four hundred and something thousand followers. Mm. Four hundred and something thousand. He has six hundred and something this morning. Wow. Yeah. Mad thing. Beanie Man had three hundred and something. He has five hundred and something now. Right. Now imagine if they had merged the two Instagrams and done it there. Yeah. They'll be both nearly in a mill. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Versus versus clash. But that's the yeah. only problem I had with this clash. But then for it to work like that, yeah. you know, production. Yeah, you'd have to have You know how the audio yeah. don't sound right. Mm. When you mix it together, right? Yeah. Mm. Now it only sounds right if it's one person in the room and your quality is Connected right. Yeah. Beanie Man and Bounty can't work like that. They are battle artists. It's mm. like you can't have, say, example, D double and anybody clashing from a different platform on Zoom. It's just not gonna work. Mm -hmm. They need to be in the same room. Yeah, routing. Yeah. Routing. So I never ex I, I I I knew it was never gonna be a together like that unless it's song for song. But no yeah, one hear Bounty and Beanie go song for song. What the hell is that? Yeah, we yeah. want to hear one rhythm running, mm. DJ mixing, and mm. then coming up in the camera like, yo! Mm. <laughs> exactly what's happening you yesterday. What <laughs> That's what yeah. we pay to see. We don't, we're not paying bloody O2 internet to, to see, yeah, yeah, this song we made in 1990. <laughs> and we can watch Ruddy Gun Show for that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, thought, I thought they were going to keep the same, the same kind of... No, but pattern. you have to understand facts. You see, the thing is with clashes, yeah? Mm. Physical clashes like that don't last more than 10 minutes. Yeah, I know. So for them to extend the time and make it into a show, mm. they have to do that. Yeah. But Instagram only allows you 90 seconds. So that's one verse and a chorus. Mm. Yeah. Most people don't even know that. So the intro of the DJ's playing was needed to warm up, to build everyone in, because the show is going to be short. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I get it. Mm. One of my things was, initially, though, I was thinking, well, I, I had the same feeling about the hip hop thing. But then I thought, you know what? American platform, mm. uh, m most Americans that if they do know you, they know you from the Maya collab, they know him from, you know, with the, when, when, when Bounty had, um, what's her name? Gwen Stefani, them. No yeah, doubt. The no, the no doubt feature. No doubt. No, that's where they're going to know them from. So they have to give them, us as dancehall fans expect a certain thing, but we have to remember, yeah. we're not the only fans watching. We're not the only people <laughs> yeah. watching. And if do you get what I'm saying? And um, so I'm not even mad at it. What what I am, what I didn't, did what I disliked was that there were just too many. And I don't think they, I just think that the quality of where they are, like they've got thousands of songs each, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we know you're not gonna, they, you can't perform all of your songs. So we're gonna leave out hundreds and thousands of good songs. So when you go and put some edit collab in, it was pissing me off. <laughs> but the might like you can't go around the Maya. Like that has to be played. Like, yeah. if you, do you get what I'm saying or something? But Bounty, Bounty, and what's her name? What was that woman? Diana King or something? What's her name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Coco Brown. What is a party tune? No, man. It was the uh, bro. I almost went. To, I almost said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go to sleep." You know, like it was, <laughs> it was annoying me, bro. So I'm like Bounty. You, you got too much tunes to play this. Yeah, I, th I think that I think Beanie's collabs, his international ones, are a bit stronger. Yeah, they were, yeah. They were a lot yeah. stronger yeah. than Bounty's yeah. ones. Beanie Man did not play the collab with Janet Jackson. No, he didn't. Oh yeah, no. mm. which yeah. I was thought I thought he would have dropped that. Now, if I remember correctly, that collab here was on Billboard charts number about twenty something. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Hold on. Stick up in, Corey. Epic. Welcome. Welcome. Bless up, bless up. You good? Yeah, man. All right, we'll, 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 we'll patch you in. Just, just join, join in the convo and then we'll patch you in and introduce you in a piece, yeah? Okay. So just listen. And, yeah, Corey, go, go sorry, uh, bro. Beanie Man's, one of Beanie Man's biggest ever songs was Dude. Yeah. 
When it came on, mm. the whole screen was lighting up. Mm. Yeah. Then obviously, who am I? Big song as well. Mm. Yeah, Lem Sugar. He sung the Maya song. That, yeah. But then remember as well the collabs that Bounty has here, they're more underground. Yeah. Us. To the mm. Americans, they're big. We as DJs don't really play them collabs. Yeah, yeah. No. The only collab we play is might be change just like the word that, but no one really plays that anymore. To be honest, I I, will, I I know I'm not gonna I know I don't have half of them ones that he has. I'm not even gonna pretend I have them. I don't have them. I don't they're the kind of tunes that I I get and delete. I don't you have know, you see like Hot 97 of them. Hot like, like stations like Hot 97 in America, they will play them. Mm. They love them little remixes and refixes that Vegas has a few of them. Mm. Um, all Conscience recently got a few of them the last couple of years. Busy's all got a few. They love them kind of things. Mm. But over here, we don't play them in the club too often. Okay. All right. Um, Epic, welcome, welcome. Yeah, man. I see you're fashionably late, rolling with the big headphones and that. said, so, yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, so man. yeah, welcome to the podcast. Introduce everyone, introduce yourself to everyone. I'm sure everyone knows who you are, but quick introduction. I don't know Epic Jones, industry DJ, producer, the whole works <laughs> in terms of the, the, the music industry, cover a bit of everything. But um, yeah, with regards to the part I, I, I've heard in terms of like some of the collabs that were played, I mean, mm -hmm. people have to understand that a big part of this pitch that Swiss and Timberland has done is to um, they, they promise streams in return mm -hmm. so they've linked with Tidal, Spotify all these things and they've gone to the artists and told them to set out a playlist because mm -hmm. the whole aim is whatever songs are played in the clash gonna get played. they're going to be added to Spotify playlists and then if these songs are a part of albums you have the album's going to be charting again and mm -hmm. then that's the whole thing to, to, to then pitch to other artists that hey Eric Badu and Jill Scott just streamed this amount. Bounty Kill and Beanie Man just had three, four albums re-enter the Billboard charts. So this is why when we come calling to you, make sure mm. you do this. So some people don't even get, there was one point Bounty Kill mentioned, Beanie Man, you are straight from the playlist. Yeah. If you're watching, and people don't get it, you are straight. And then when Beanie Man called him out for it, he said, me no business, but no rules, F the yeah. rules. Me, I mm. go play 10 seconds of the song and 80 seconds don't play it. Because mm. each song was supposed to play for 90 seconds. But Bounty Killer could have said that because there's three things that happen that never supposed to happen. That mm. freestyle and the showtime rhythm never supposed to happen because none of that now stream. None of them songs can be picked up by Shazam or whatever. <laughs> and mm. that little, um, obviously, the dub plates never planned. That's why you hear Bean Man say, well, me never cut the dub plate away for your kind. Mm. I go, different this yeah, yeah, yeah. and then that funeral beat wasn't yeah. supposed to be looped and turn a freestyle no. these are things where does happen for the moment and everything but you have to understand i mean bounty killer would never ever i don't think he's ever performed that song with diana king but he's just probably been a part <laughs> of an album that and the stream sharon yeah. burke tell him said boy you have to use that song because stream wise you know, oh, you own the masters now. VP no longer own it. Our Sony no longer yeah. own it. So, so it's it, not strategic. It was strategic. Strategic. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not really the best of Beanie Man and the best of Bounty Killer in terms of them yeah. finding tunes and which songs. Because Beanie Man not play Feel It Boy by, by um, Janet Jackson. Yeah, yeah. We're One of his, yeah. That's this his highest saying. charting Billboard song ever. Higher than Sim Simmer. Higher than um, all the other songs that he, um, Roman Red Bull. Yeah. Play and a, a collab with a Jackson, hmm. you know. Yeah, it's that mad, it's mad. All right, so listen, we've done said it was good for the culture, we've done all of that. Yeah. But now, listen, what well, I know who win the clash, there, is, there has to be Boy, a winner. Cross. Cross. No, there has to be a winner. Cross, <laughs> yeah, cross. So, what well, I know for everybody who you think won the clash, and don't just go by who's your favorite. Who you think won the clash? Everybody have to tell me. That's to be a winner. So yeah, let's start with conspiracy over yes or no. Let's see that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Up until the showtime rhythm, I actually had Beanie Man, mm. right, mm. winning. And then I stopped. I literally I had my phone and I was counting and I was doing who which, winning which round. I think I had seven six Beanie Man at this time. And as soon as the whole show, the police come the showtime rhythm. I lost count and I just went out. I turned into like a fan mm. and I just mm. I, I threw the DJ hat out the door. In terms of after when the Showtime rhythm happened afterwards, Outy Killer for me took it. 
Because the way he's pushing Beanie Man out of the way, and I was listening to what he's saying, and certain fish comments and certain things he was saying, Beanie Man looked at him sideways, he's like, Brechin, what happened to you? Like, what well, go on? Mm. And I just went, I went mad. So for me, Killer took it, but fundamentally, Jamaica and everyone won. Okay, so you say, you say Killer. All right, yeah. all right, cool. Um, Corey, you think, boss? You know what? Um, I, I need a man one to be honest because <laughs> Bounty 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 is not the full song war guy, he's the spit bars, chop man head. That's Bounty. Beanie Man could not war if you play Memories for the full song. There's no war. Like I don't, I don't feel a war when the songs have been played like 45s. It don't make sense. Mm. They're not doing the songs live. I don't, I don't feel that war energy. Dancer cannot compete like Babyface and mm. Riley. It don't work like that. Yeah, mm. it's not built like that. No rhythms and stuff. They don't make so, sense. And if I was supposed to even judge it like that, be the man win. Because Bounty Killer sang them after the first intro and the first few line and the, ver the chorus, the verse, we want to hear the next song. Yeah, yeah. Mm. The yeah. only songs that I can tell you that I was in my house like, yo, is when Bounty Killer went, I want bulletproof versus I want bulletproof. Mm -hmm. The whole <laughs> place, no matter what house he was in, <laughs> fingers, easy. When he played the, the, the Baby Sham collab, Man. Man, I put up a cheer and I was like, yo, Man. I'm going to go live. Yeah. I'm telling you. Man. Man. But apart from that, the rest of the collabs and the rest of the songs, and I was like, yeah, mm, all right. But Beanie Man's introduction to the songs, Beanie Man's energy around the songs itself when he's playing them. Like, I never see Bounty Killer dancing in my life. <laughs> you can take, 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 take a dance with being a daughter still. No, you're not with me. You're doing the cunning with the door. <laughs> when I say the bunty don't dance, when I say the bunty don't dance, here, don't dance here, mm. I'm in dance. Bunty's right there. Mm. I'll tell, yeah. I'll tell her which to come deal with the thing. You know, this is the most bunty does, <laughs> and you have to be a real selector to get bunty to do that too. Mm. One do in a dance for the whole night and then just him, I might be three girls, I might be two men, and that's it. And him and them run one space when they done him gone. So when I see Bunty on live dancing, I'm like, yo, killer's enjoying this. Yeah. <laughs> even, that, even that last one where it's turned into a meme now where everyone is like, yo, Bunty excited, but this is the different side of Bunty that none of dance all knows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bunty in the studio when him walk in, if too much money in him come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. Different. different so energy. when I see the energy of Bunty, I'm like, yo, Bunty not war today. The hardest mm -hmm. part of the war for Bunty was him play the dublet. I was like, yo. That's yeah, close. yeah. Mm -hmm. man, cut his, man cut a dub for himself. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen yeah, that. Ever. You know what? Ever. You know what? This is what I'm saying. Bounty's energy is so sick here, yeah? mm. but we've never seen this energy from Bounty before. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But you still give I, it to Beanie Man? I 100% give it to Beanie Man. All right. Say nothing. Drama, what you say? Right, you know, Bounty are my artist, you know. So just taking that out of the equation, I want to give it to Beanie Man still. Pause. Change, change your whole mind. Uh, <laughs> Based on what it was, based on what was going on, I would have I would have to be the man ticket. But you know what I liked? That Jinal move where he played the um hypocrite on the short time and then I met Born to feel say, alright, cool, yeah. Well, I'll go on. And then stuff it and say, Yeah, true. My See too, just my that move there. <laughs> you can be the man just for that move that's us still. You know that free party up a little bit, you know. Because see, when that bond is like, ah, all right, cool, cool, like. That yeah. move there for me, yeah, be the man ticket still. Yeah, yeah. All right. X. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a tough one for me still, but I feel Beanie just edged it for me. Like, the reason why I say that, I like what Marcus just said. He drew him out mm. on that show time. He drew him out because after he said all them lyrics, that was a lot of his tunes on that one show time. And I felt that <laughs> Beanie 
Beanie had his lyrics as well, his gunman lyrics, and saved them for that precise moment. So when they were getting back to back, I thought even Beanie took it on the showtime. For me, I thought he took it. And then after that, it was a, a bit shaky. But maybe Bonty got the edge after that. But I think beforehand, what Conspiracy said when we had it about 7-6, I was around that same sort of thing as well. So for me, Beanie just edged it for me. All right. Epic Jones. Yes, I. Well, throughout the whole class, I said Bonty killer even prior to the class. Mm. But just like we, um, I said before, Beanie jar for some tactical things. Now, obviously, I know if it was going to be impact of songs. Mm. But the killer don't have that international catalog we beat mm. now. So based on the, the previous ones. However, as I said, the clash to me kind of start when after the police forward. Mm. So when the show time forward and everything and beat man use that move and said, well, I just want song that you know. Cause this just by a song by song and Bolt <laughs> Killer lost most of his gangster catalog right there. And mm. then it fall in a be it play in a beanie man hands where he could have keep himself in a buckle. The part where, even if you want to say, all right, Bunt Killer edging it. I have never seen, you know, Ninja Man historically say, reverse the earth and make a put in the dead with Super Cat. <laughs> but that funeral song, the hearse gone. And the casket, the man in my walk with it. You know. So I've never seen a man fighting with out of the casket. No. <laughs> no. And, and no. listen, you need to watch what the video and see Bounty Killer and the DJ Richie D has walked yeah. away from the song. Yes. Bounty yeah. Killer is celebrating and stays up. And then you just hear Zang Diggy Diggy Dang Diggy Dang and yeah. Bounty Killer smoke goes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've watched the reaction yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. no, yeah. you didn't that. just do that. Zang no. Diggy Diggy Dang Diggy Dang open the casket. It's the Vincima. only video that Vini I've man. from the clash. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I listen when he played a double here yeah, and he reloaded it. I went screen record immediately. I said, "Nah, this no, right here, I have to say." Bro, no how can other you, artists. How can you have six men walking with a casket and you jump out the casket and say, "What are you doing?" I was just holding it. Listen, I just had a little nap. Me, I was holding it. Where, where I go? One try. One try for the what? Well, what's that? What's that? What's that thing called? One try for the what? Um. Oh my God, that movie, that that series, I call you. When the man buried the girl alive. Man try for you. Yeah. Me not dead. Where I go? Yo. Mm. yo. I've never Be seen man. that. Be the man reversed the counter. How can you make a counter action in a dead song? Yeah, 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 yeah. After that, I was like, no, no, Beanie yeah. Man are the best. I don't yeah. edge it for Beanie. Yeah. Definitely. That, uh, go that on. Edge it for him. I think that edge, that moment there, because I, I don't think there's any other artist you can think of in the business, whether no. hip hop or whatever, that would have reversed no. that situation. Mm. That's a very old song. Not yeah. even when Mother had on Carter. <laughs> when Mother had <laughs> said, when Mother had said, when Carter said, the boy ran like a wounded, Mother had gone. Him no come back. <laughs> yeah, you go on. Want to kill you and you move back as a bit of dead. Yeah. You, you, know, you, know what the, you know what the other baddest thing is, though, that people are not even, people probably even realize at the time that why Bounty Killer is playing that song. As in, that is a dead man in a casket song. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you, have to, you have to even think, raw. Listen. He's playing a song saying, I've killed you. Mm. Yep. And then my man has come and reversed the song. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Blood. a video editor, whoever that person is, Blood. to create that video where Bounty is playing the song. Yeah. Video of the man walking with a six man walking with a casket. Beady man bust fading in and going, nope, me not dead. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree 100. And you see, with the showtime, in fact, yeah, what another thing that are people, you see, Anyone who's got that dub or, you know, Beanie show, um, Showtime dub, he broke his lyrics down into sections. The same, the same tunes. So yeah, he think men and all the pussy. That's the first bit, yeah. and then the next bit, he done anyway. Do, do, am I making sense? Like that's yeah, the same yeah. tune that he spits on the same Showtime. He broke it down into three bits. Where Bounty now, Bounty was like using kind of artist. No, but Bounty was using different songs, so he's taking. Yeah. His, He's taking songs out of the catalog, yeah. and Beanie Man is using the one song and splitting yeah, it into three. And mm. then, but Bounty is using different songs. The thing he's is, taking, yeah, he's yeah. killing himself. The thing is, yeah, is that Bounty is a war artist. 
is no matter what where you put him mm. it's warm. his mind is just always in badness yeah beanie man is a party dj mm. beanie man always want to know where the girl in there mm-hmm. where they want wine for what kind of party more bring so as much as bounty killer is the only person in there that was worried last night beanie man is a good opponent because he will be on each side compete he, he will just revert like it's listen people are understanding you like that the, the funniest part as we said a while ago is when man how can you counteract? It's like you counteracting Amazing Grace at your own funeral. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, it's just mad. Like, and then we 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 watch it and then we're like, do we really? Bounty, Bounty's, You have to see Bounty's. Bounty's. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. His reaction is everything. His reaction is he yeah. actually he actually goes what? And then him and his DJ walk off screen. Yep. See they this. walk off. Like they walk off like no way. And did he somebody go. told them like you best go there. Because him about to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking to people that I've spoken to, a lot of people think that Bonty won the clash. A lot of people because, think that you know won why? It. You know why you don't think that? Because when they go into a clash, they think yeah. war clash. The war, they mm. think of the war lyrics. Mm. Where mm. I feel being had a tactic, being he had a good clash, tactic, it worked. In this clash, it was a performance clash. Yeah. Why yeah, yeah. both there? Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, but, but you know he's sucking him into. So if you look at the Digicel thing that they've done, mm-hmm. and even when they did their legendary concert, right, it was that last from the showtime. It was pretty much they was performing that show already, mm-hmm. but then we just they just adjusted it to be more cash orientated. Mm-hmm. So it was really something that I've kind of heard already. Mm-hmm. And you're right because Battle Killers also hitting with just the, the one line is I'm burning off their tune. Beanie Man had obviously the advantage of obviously trying to be a bit more thoughtful. But the energy Killer was giving me, when I was looking it back, because I watched it back and I was like, hold on, Beanie Man's beating. But then the end, I was just like, rah, the creativity. But what I thought from the end, where you lot have all been the same, I thought, rah, like, you know, when I heard Beanie Man doing his, his, his thing, I, mean, I don't know how to do it. I'm not trying to do it either. <laughs> but I was like, rah, you're just trying to hold on to something. Like, because you realise my man just scalped you in a big way. So you're trying to hold on. So I was like, I could take it in two ways. But he's like, let him do his thing. Don't worry. My man's just trying to get save himself. Or alternatively, is this a genius move to try and say it? Mm-hmm. Right? And then obviously they unified at the end. Yeah. I think, you know what? I think, I think the reaction is what, is what, what causes yeah. it. The reaction yeah. is what, is yeah. what yeah. does it. The reaction of Bonzi. Yeah. You what told you, that reaction. Oh, shit. Yeah. It went left. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's the, it's the reaction. But I don't know. Conspiracy. Mm-hmm. Have you seen his reaction? So I think so I think I saw the reaction. Uh, it turns around, I, I, I may need to go back. Okay. I may need to go back and double check it. No, conspiracy. Well, it's on it's go, on it's go, on my it's on my story. Go on, go on my page. Story. Go on my page. The last <laughs> post. The last main post. See, yeah. Please make sure when you yeah. edit the video. Don't worry, man. I'm gonna squeeze it in right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever Yo. I need that. Because I'm telling you now, yeah. When you see Bounty's face, it was like yeah, yeah. I'm gonna that's what I'm saying. It, it actually, and, and not only the reaction, he actually said it on the microphone. You yeah. know, saying bad. You know, mm. said that man, you're yeah, real bad. Mm. Then you make him make gun them. Him he kill, kill me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. son them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I heard that. So mm. he, he basically conceded that. Listen, <laughs> me don't know knows. nobody else but like you. Mm. Nobody else he that could have come back like that. Literally, that I've lost. Yes. Yeah, so I don't can't see if I said that. Because when Bounty just... played that, you know, when Bounty played it, he was hundred percent sure. Yeah, that was the end That's of. That's why he pulled it up. That's why listen, he pulled it up. But, mm-hmm. but let me tell you, the internet had the means ready for Beanie Man. Mm. The moment that went, <laughs> and they yeah. went, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's change. <laughs> let's listen, do this one. Like, how can you how can you play that rhythm and no one's make a meme? That's how you know. Yeah. Beanie yeah. Man, True. No mean with Beanie Man being dead. No, mm. he done that. He took that. But you see, you see, one of the things is that for me, yeah. <laughs> for me, yeah. Who's that? Cod. Cod. Bro, I've got to look at the thing now. I'm on Cod's page. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, this is music, brother. I can't just wait. I'm sorry. Hey, I apologize. Your, no disrespect. Leave your mic. Leave your mic. Don't worry. Listen. Oh, but yeah, oh, yeah, for me, yeah. 
I break I broke the class down into some sections. So you see the hip hop section? Mm. Bounty lost that. Yeah. 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 yeah? So that's one nil to Beanie Man. Mm. From Showtime, he pulled off that stunt on Showtime. Now, for those who are not in the clash thing or they're not in the dance or arena, they don't understand that yes, they might look at Showtime and but that's his Beanie Beanie outsmarted him there. So that's two nil beanie. beanie. You know, mm. hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, go on. How beanie outsmart Bounty on the showtime was he made sure he voiced the song that Bounty knows on the rhythm. He went, You think men are not like Bounty was like, Oh, he's just yeah. doing, he's just doing his song. He's not he's not trying to argue with me. And then Beanie Man turned to him and went like, You know no more words. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> wait for your lyrics there. <laughs> that pull him up. You want bulletproof? What you want? Then Beanie Man is like, oh, okay. All right, chop on next one. Sorry, sorry. Right, I just watched my killer's face. <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> you know, you know what it is? I can remember myself. I was gassed at the time. I'm not going to lie. I, I thought mm. genius. Dub plate is bad. Perfect meme. And I just remember jumping up and down. I'm not going to lie. So when I'm just watching it now, and I see the look on Marty's face, that needs to be a meme, for real. Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> that looks like you just found out you're not the father or something. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You see what I'm saying? So I think Beanie outsmarted him on the showtime. And then, Beanie, cool, yeah. and then Beanie took... He counteracted his He's own done. stuff. He counteracted yeah. it. The thing, like, with style. Mm. The thing is, you see, if, if I, I think if I was the DJ for Bounty... Hint, hint, I'm joking. But if I was a DJ for Bounty, yeah? I'd have plugged that. I'd have pulled off this, I would have pulled up because I would, they gave you know him what? too much time. Yeah, you know they, gave him, they gave him. What I tell you, yeah? What I tell you, when Beanie Man started spitting on that song, yeah? Instrumental, I said to myself, I hope Kurt Riley looped that, you know, because Beanie is going to do a whole album on yeah. this song right now. <laughs> when Beanie Man starts with it, he's ready. Yeah. He's ready. Exactly. If you know it's the right time. Anytime it starts <laughs> yeah, with that line, yeah, yeah. just know expect the right. whole five minutes. That's, he's winding himself up. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and you know what he's doing? <laughs> and then he's, he's gone. winding himself up here yeah, because he doesn't know what song he's gonna sing yet. No, he's no. Just starting. Yeah. Because if you notice, if you watch the video again, he's just standing there, meds in the rhythm, like. Yeah. What do and I have then, in the catalog? And, like, and, and, then, and you know what as well? He's probably meds in the whole thing in his head, you know. Remember, artists are probably even quicker than us sometimes, isn't it? Like he's probably thinking, oh, don't know, my man's on the dock. <laughs> he tried to kill me. Hold yeah. on, I've got, I've got to come back. Bro, Beanie Man always, always finds a comeback for everything. Yeah. Bro, bro. Everything. Mm. Mm. Now he, he so then so so for me that's that's three nil. Yeah. So and they're, and they're the big factors. That's like that is that's yeah, the rest yeah. of the clash was just MP3s, fam. So All right. Yeah. And then and then I think the order is mad. This the, I thought the same thing with the other clashes, but I'm like, he played, he played, um, what did he play? He played Slam, then he played Living Dangerously, and I'm like, wow, two complete different songs. They shouldn't yeah. even go together. Yeah. But then I thought, okay, cool, because Slam to me is one of my favorite tunes. Yeah. But I feel like Living Dangerously probably tips it yeah, as a good song. Mm. So I thought, shit. But then he played Dance with Queen, which tips that. So I'm like, you lot are not thinking right. Your order's wrong. You have to like, understand, yeah? Listen to this, right? Mm. This was not for us. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The only yeah. part that they pushed for us, yeah. Show Time Rhythm, yeah. Thing at the End, yeah. that was us. Mm. Yeah. 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 Facts. And that the was the, the, the playlist. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. streaming on the playlist. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's why Just when like I when I saw when I saw the clash, I wasn't upset with what I saw because I expected Bro, that. I expected. He that. went to that clash here to see Bounty and Beanie Man in the same space. That's what we went to see. That's what we saw. We went to bed happy. That's yeah. it. we expected yeah. them to come out suited and booted. That's it. Mm. If you expected more from that clash, you were at the wrong yeah. clash. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Hey, that walk-off from Bounty Killer, though. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> no, let me ask I you a question, I though. never expect that. I've never, ever seen that side of Because people have won. Yeah, the walk-off was I won. 
that's the that's the I just won culture class war. Mm. Let, let, me, let me ask you all a question quickly. Where did Bunty go when the police come? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's a TikTok viral video. Where in that room here, yeah, in that room here, yeah, the entrance that way of our camera, yeah. there's a door that way. Yeah. Bonticular. Is a <laughs> Where did he go, though? Listen he to went. this. Listen so to quick. this. X-rated. Yeah. Go to Jamaica, and you see police. Otherwise Ooh. called Zozo. When you see police, if you're a bad man, you got that way. <laughs> you know Bunty what? It was police <laughs> and Bunty just got that way. You see, Beanie Man, Beanie Man here is so... Bro, Beanie Man is the only artist I know that will come to your stage show by himself. Mm. Mm. I played in Jamaica in Christmas in, in... What's it called? Memorial Park. And Beanie Man came to the, cl- the, the show by himself. Governor reached with 10 or 12 people. <laughs> Ching for 14 people. Kiabutan boy, he hit man. Bro, <laughs> Taurus Riley, Beanie Man came by themselves. Mm. I just thought that was funny, man. The way that he just disappeared. Bunty don't walk beating. by himself. Bunty does not walk. No, 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 they definitely don't. I'm not sure nobody not look for Bunty neither. But nobody don't walk. He don't walk by himself. Bunty, yeah. Bunty don't like guns, you know. So I ain't no police but, in Jamaica. But, Bunty, walk with guns. Bunty so, like only bad, bad If him man, see, bad one way of him. Yeah, him gone. Gone. Ah, uh, uh, historically, anybody will tell you that in music to where they're on Bunty Killer, whether in them camp, whether them seen him party. If, if guns you have are, no gun, beside, if you can't see it, you and don't even want yourself, nobody a part of think, his crew with it. As an English person, now you think, yo, gun you think for them waste mm. Man, them where you don't think of the gun, and them mm. have the gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I know this here because I was in yard one time, eh, and I saw. Um, it was, I think I was at Rebel Salute, blood, yeah? And I'm saying these, the humblest Rasta man in my vision, the way how their people, them is pushing through the crowd and I, hey, like some army. And I'm saying, whoa, Scott, ain't nobody trying to um, deal with him, so. But they got their army, they got the man them ready. they box you down if they have to. They're just, an artist, an artist, an artist. And then the only person, as he said, that I saw, on their own was Luciano. It's the same. I see him in Croydon the other day on his own as well. Just humble on Luciano, their own. Luciano normally walk with one brother. Yeah. Well, well, when he was in Croydon the other day, I see him on his own. Croydon? Yeah, Ross on his own with a Primark bag. I say, yes. Well, in, in oh. Croydon, <laughs> is that? What? In Croydon, you might see popcorn by himself. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing gonna happen in Croydon. But mm. yeah, if you, at stage shows in Jamaica, they mm. always walk with an entourage. Mm. Like say example, even even St- Stylo, mm. Stylo go to a show. We in Europe, me Stylo are one person. Mm. In London, me Stylo are about six. In Jamaica, five care. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, everywhere is different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Popcorn, you come to London, and you have like ten man. Mm. Jamaica, ten care. Yeah, and yeah. Ten man. I'm five bike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like the two police. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when I'm walking, I'm carrying the one room. You don't have to take the whole backstage. So, so what, what makes Beanie Man different? Beanie Man just thinks different. If you, if how you think is how you behave. All mm. right. The way he spoke to the police, he was like, do you yeah. really want to be that guy? I said, so yeah. here's the police, yeah. right? Let me just say something though, yeah, because a lot of people were saying, they didn't even the way in which he spoke to the police here. Yeah. Some people didn't serious. believe that the police was actually there. All right. So they're like, just, you can't chat to the police like that. What? See, that you see what he said now? In England, mm. if I came to any one of you and yeah. went, do you want to be that guy? <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 what? everybody's looking like, what fam? All me out in it, because I don't know who you think you're talking to. Yeah. But in Jamaica, mm. it's just basic conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not being rude. I'm no. not asking you directly yeah. for is it yeah. a thing that are you yeah. are you trying to be the person that's going to embarrass yeah. yourself? Are you gonna yeah. ruin this thing? Are but you not know really you know what I'm saying? Like if I came you. if I came to you know in a club and mm. there's a PBK show and, and Skepta come around and said, Skepta, you're trying to be what? Yeah. Mm. 
Skepta won't even move. And next man, you can see a punch come from nowhere, bro. <laughs> it's mad. Because you know what? Even back in the day, yeah, when I was in Yard, a man called me my you. Mm. And, and you obviously, be, being British, I, got, I was... Uh, we are talk to. Thank you. Exactly. But, it, it, but he, was, he was like... He didn't even understand, understand why I was vexed. He didn't understand why I was vexed. He didn't understand. Um, I never understand why you're vexed. Yeah. Why? Because mm. I came to college here. I came to college. <laughs> So when I'm in college, yeah, every man wanted to be my virgin because they're like, yo, when that man talk, it's long. Mm. <laughs> but I'm just genuinely talking. Mm. <laughs> like, I'm only talk. Mm. Yeah. So, so from them times till now, yeah, I genuinely go in the club. I don't talk to much people unless they know me because they just feel like I'm being rude. Mm. But this is just genuinely how I grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We speak to each other like, uh, what do you want? and I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll literally tell you about yourself and you'll think that I'm being rude to you, but it's just... I just it's, just, it's just it. It's just how it goes. Mm. It's just how it goes. All right, so listen, quickly moving on then. So, we, we, hold on, facts. Who do you say one? Um, Beanie. Beanie, okay. And, yeah. and I say Beanie, so... Con- <laughs> I'll stick, to, I stick to my guns, dude, boy. Yeah, man. Right, stick, stick stick there. The video. Well, sorry, there might be a bit of bias still. I'm not going to lie, but... Man. Okay, but it's six, six one six one saying beanie. I'm, I'm beard man, I'm beard. I'm beard. Yeah, it's his beard. Yeah, it's it's, it's messing up. It's, something, something, something. Yeah, something. I'm seeing properly. The beard. All right. Up. So it's you. Well, it's almost unanimous that we think beanie won. Performance wise, um, tactically, and not not to discredit Bounty in any way, and that's because we have to choose a winner in this conversation. Yeah. But as we said before, we feel that the, the culture won. Yeah, the culture. You're like, won. Yeah? If, it a, if it was on a stage show. Yeah. It would could, be, it, it would it be, could go any direction. Yeah, it'd probably be different. If they were performing every single song... As, if as, they were, no, as, sorry, if they were doing it properly. Yeah, yeah, if they wasn't performing, if they were performing the songs and not playing them, and they had free reign and didn't have to play the hip-hop... Well, music, if they were performing... I'm just thinking about Monte Kidder performing some of them songs that people hardly know. No, 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 it wouldn't be none of those songs. No, 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 I'm saying, not oh, those songs. Course, saying, oh, okay, okay, okay. If they had their own, if they had their own yeah. rules and it was if just... They're they're on stage, stage, if it was Sting okay, 2020. Okay, if it was, oh, we know a clash. Okay, yeah, if it was Sting 2020, Bonte yeah. might be different. Oh, Bonte, Bonte landslide. 100%. It could have been a Bonte landslide. <laughs> but for what it was, Beanie first. So that's 6-1. Yeah. But now, I'm not sure how many of you know, but Mataran. Oh, oh blood. I know. All right. I've been Fact. following it good. I've been following Fact. it good still. All right, so let me, let me give you a little breakdown, innit? Well, for what I know, innit? I might not know it all, but I, I've, I've heard some stuff and I saw a couple of videos and mm. all of this. So, off the back of the clash, or even before the clash, Mataron obviously was voicing his opinion, saying that he don't think they picked the correct platform, innit, basically, mm. to go on. Like, they could have could, used the artists he's talking about a Jamaican platform or a platform that's, you know, more uh, makes sense for the Jamaican culture in it, because obviously it's not Jamaican culture. Yeah. Now, that was his argument. Obviously, Swiss, we saw, I don't know if everyone saw, but I saw it even when I was watching. He put a comment in the actual chat, yeah? So he commented and said something about, you know, um, you lot don't try and, like, bad up the thing or, or, or hype up the thing about, you know, the platform and so on and so forth, innit? Mm. But he kind of added... Tony Mataron and Major Hype in it. He, he had both of them. I don't know if they saw it. I don't know him. So is Major Hype saying the same thing? I think he basically went on Mataron's uh, uh, live and he was basically like, yeah, saying the same thing. He was okay. full process as well, yeah. So then off the back of that, Swiss has now done another live with Timberland. He said he's pissed again, saying, yo, like, you know, I don't know why they, whatever, whatever. Today, obviously, <laughs> Mataron has now gone on his live again. And he's voicing his opinion. Mm. Yeah? So now there's almost like a, mm-hmm. a, a Swiss versus Tony Maron, isn't it? Mm. But what is you lot's thoughts on the whole fact that obviously, you know, they, he used or they used the American platform rather than a Caribbean or Jamaican platform? Do you think Maron has a point? No. Um, I've been following that thing, what you're talking about, Fats, mm. even before the clash, even before the Beanie Bunty thing. Yeah. So, because I watch um, Major Hype, I watch his, I watch his lives, because he does a clash thing on there every, I yeah. think it's every Wednesday. 
Mm. So he has like little sounds just go on there, they showcase their thing, they clash and whatever. Mm. And um, I think when he started, when he started doing that that clash thing, he he reached out to Swiss Beats apparently. Okay. And got, got some information like, oh, I want to kind of follow what you're doing. So you're doing the thing with the artist, so I want to try and do it with with like a sound mm-hmm. clash thing. Mm. So um, yeah, I believe he did reach out to Swiss Beats, and Swiss Beats gave him his information and rah 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 rah. rah. So what Major Hype has done, he's reached out to a few artists, maybe not being the Bunty, not to that level, yeah. but maybe other artists, yeah. and they refused. Okay. So. Major Hype then got on his high horse just before, when they just, I think when they started to promote the Beanie Bonte, mm. he um, obviously seen the flyer and he's seen people repost the flyer, like his people then maybe repost the flyer, mm. so he got upset and said, Ra, when I come to ask certain man mm. to, to, to come on my thing and, yeah. and do the clash, no one didn't want to do it. But mm. when Swiss Beats comes and says, yeah, boom, man them come and do a thing, they want to do it. Yeah. So... Mataron then got involved in that same, mm-hmm. um, the same scenario mm-hmm. with Major Hype, and then them two got on the live together and were talking. And, mm-hmm. and, and I think Mataron said, you know what, you know, BB versus and rah, 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 and start cuss and curse and all these things. You know, Mataron can be ignorant sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I think he put up a post on his page, and that's what Swiss Beats saw. He put Mina watch now BB versus rah, rah, rah on his page. And I think mm-hmm. Swiss Beats saw that. So that's why you see that um, Swiss Beats has put a comment in his, on, on the thing about yeah, yeah. And Major Hype and, and yeah. Mataran. Because he's thinking that them men are kind of disrespecting the platform. Yeah. Yeah, so it, 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 go, it, starts, it started before that whole versus thing, to be fair. It started beforehand. I think, I think Mataran, he's got, a big, he's got a problem with Bounty Killer, isn't it? Him and, him and Bounty Killer don't get on. Is that, am I yeah. right in saying that? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that's his issue more than anything yeah. else. I think the issue is between him and Bounty Killer and not because of this whole versus thing. I think he's got a, an issue with, like, yeah, a yeah, yeah. with Bounty Killer. All right, so Jay, think, go on. No, I was saying, so you think he just basically takes like, his own whatever problems he First, has? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's more personal. I don't think it's nothing to do with Swiss Beats. I don't yeah. think it's nothing to do with the, bin, the, the Beanie Bounty Clash. I think that it's between him and Bounty Killer. There's a personal thing there. I don't know. I could be wrong on the way, the way I'm seeing it. But it don't make sense because Swiss Beats have been on Major Ipe's platform, Instagram, bagger times. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Bagger time, like, yeah, just... Yeah. So I was a bit confused by it personally, to be honest. And, and Tony, and th- their whole attitude regarding it, because at the end of the day, think they're saying, why don't you do it for the culture, yeah? That was one of the talks that Tony Mataron was bringing, mm-hmm. right? And Swiss Beats had done already, he said, listen, you are... The goal in what you do, you're one of the baddest man, and he's giving him his props, you know. Mm. At the end of the day, he was trying to say Bounty and Beanie Man wasn't. They're not. When we call, you're not really doing that. But when it came to doing something for the community, mm. but he's forgetting that Beanie and Bounty was on Digicel. Mm. The thing popped down. They read. They done the thing. So they also put in the community and trying to raise our funds to give to the poor people them and mm. do a free show. So when they're complaining about, I was like, you need to leave off because at the end of the day, if you've got a bigger mind, if you've got a wider mind for him and you're supporting it and yeah. marketing it and putting it in, you're making our music, and I say our music because I live, we all live and breathe it. At the end of the day, you're making putting a bigger platform for more people. Which fundamentally, if you've been seen as one of the goats, for me, Tony Matteron is one of my Tony Matteron Black Cat, um, Caveman sound from back in the day. A few other sounds, but for me, I'm, like, I'm a fan of. So if you've got a bigger platform, you're going to get more bookings from it. Because you're going to see this. Who do I need to... Bro, this man works. This man got the big job with the um, telecommunications company, you know? Where they got what up to four hundred thousand to the mass, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I hear that. What about you, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard when you know the people living in Vov. It's even yeah. about hard. It's just I can explain the whole thing, but it's just pointless. Man. Like, yeah, the fact the fact that matter and say everybody good now. I don't even want to explain the whole thing, but it's deeper than what people are analyzing. Let me just just narrow it down. Seems like it. 
Let me narrow it down. Mataran, Bunty, they're not friends. Mm. Mm. Now, the problem with Mataran and the whole situation is, and we as dancehall DJs hear mm. yeah, this every day. They might hear me play a dub. They might hear me play a jingle. And a man might think, yo, Corey got ratings, Corey got this, but bruv, you don't know what I have to, how much time I have to call a man to a one jingle. Mm. Or call a one man to a dub. There's DJs out there that pay so much money for a song. And there's artists that give DJs songs that never play the song either. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. then when I do something, like say example, I keep a, my birthday party. Mm. I don't expect someone to just post my birthday party. As a DJ, if I don't book you, I don't, you're not obligated to post to my party. No. If it says 30 DJ current friends and you're not playing, if you don't post it, that's your business. Mm -hmm. If you come to the party, you're a DJ, I'm supposed to automatically let you in for free, even if you didn't post it. Mm -hmm. Not your friends, but you. Mm -hmm. If I ask mm -hmm. an artist to post my flyer, but I didn't book an artist, any artist at all, and the artist says no, I'm like, raw. I play your song every day, fam. Mm -hmm. Artists don't connect with DJs. Mm -hmm. And That's... Maturan's problem is, is that Maturan has been on live since quarantine every week. None of them artists are where they don't support our system. Mm -hmm. I go on live every day. There's artists I know, might not want to call names, but they've never been in my life. Never mm. post a shit, never share a post, never like a post, never, nothing to do in my life. Mm -hmm. But when they have a song, they're in my email though. Yeah. yeah. But can we look at the, um, can we look at the, all right, so for example, yeah, DJs at the moment. Hold on, see. Mm. Yeah, go on. But I just want to, off in the back of what you're saying, just, mm. just sort of stick up. I'm not trying to cut you, just stick up in here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. On the back of what you're saying, the the the, art, the DJs that are doing the lives mm -hmm. to get through this system, to get through this um this um predicament that we're in, mm. you know, for whatever reason, to keep themselves going, to entertain the fans and stuff. Is it fair to to look at someone like an artist who's equally suffering in terms of what they this this whole COVID situation, mm -hmm. and because they're not doing something, like to then judge it based on that. Do you get what I'm saying? So obviously, if we're all in a we're all in a mess right now, everyone's right. in a mess, and so, no one's struggle is more than anyone else's. If everyone's in a mess, right? Mm. We're all in a mess. I go live. You as an artist, you don't do anything on your Instagram. You just post up, right? You put out a song, you post it. When you put out a song, you want me to play it. How are the people gonna hear it if they're not following you? Mm. Mm. You don't hear from my page or Epic page or Facts page. Mm. Mm. Tell me, when we play it, they hear it. Then they're gonna go to your page and see you posted it. That's you got a new follower today. Mm. Mm. If I pull up your song and I have three hundred people on my live, that's just be hearing your song. Mm. That's ten people going Shazam in that song find who you are. Mm. Mm. Every Shazam is about one pound twenty. Mm. So what does Am that I? mean? I'm making you money. It's, it's, one pound twenty exactly. I'm just saying like yeah yeah. I'm making you money every time someone searches for you. Mm. So what is it that you're following me and you can't, you see a notification every time I go live, five days a week, and you never clicked it one day? For mm. six weeks. Yeah, that, I think that was the same thing Corey said. That's, that's Matterman's argument. Six yeah, weeks. No, but listen to me. Six weeks, you get the notification every day. I go live 12 o'clock in the night or 9 o'clock in the evening or 3 o'clock in the day. That's three oh, yeah. different times. You must be awake at one day between that time. I have been a follower. And you, you're following me. That means you get the notification. You know. You know. I only follow 300 people. So, and you're one of them. So how <laughs> is it that you never got that notification? Yeah. I hear you. But it's about, about how people move, how people Feel. use their social media. No. Some no. people have no. things turned off. Some people have, like for me, for example... I don't get any notifications. None. Zero. None. None. I turn off all C6. notifications. C6? C6. Artists say everything. C6. Never tell you that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much followers you have. I'm going to make, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a make a very great example. Yeah, yeah. Chip. Yeah. Chip don't follow nobody. He just started following people the other day. Yeah. Now, I'll talk to Chip on the phone all the time. Mm -hmm. Chip can tell me what's on my page and he don't follow me. Mm. 
Did you said? If I post something at nine o'clock at ten past nine, he's calling me. So we're riding today. Yeah, mm. we're going there. We're going there. He's they see everything. Mm. Popcorn, popcorn don't miss nothing. Mm. Every one of these artists have another page that they follow everyone from, and they see everything <laughs> you do. Ah, Let's yeah. Go burn that. Their account. I'm so telling what? you. And not only that, some man getting boost thinking that big black Indonesia is following them, but it's really popular. Trust me, <laughs> listen to me carefully. I'm telling you now yeah, that they see everything, but they say nothing. Mm. Now, no, no. as as we as DJs, yeah, we're not here to 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 not support your music. We're gonna play your music, bro. I make a CD all the time. I'm not making CDs because obviously quarantine time. I don't want to make CDs because mm. I want live every day, but. When I'm on live, I'm talking about your song. I'm playing mm -hmm. your song. I'm blasting mm -hmm. your song. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. if when quarantine is going on, and you're going to tell me now that a guy from America phones you because he has two million followers, you're going to be like, yeah, man, you're done now. You send me to Syrac, I'm ready. <coughs> That's what <laughs> happened, you know. That's what happened, you know. Just a rock, you know. I'll see a rock, you know. Oi. So, 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 Corey, 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 one sec. Do you agree with Matt on then? Listen to what I'm saying. If, and I quote, if the DJ that was DJing for Beanie Man said to Beanie and Bounty, I'm going to keep a show tomorrow, come and perform, do you think they'd have went? No. 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 Answer the question. If, do you really think like I answer the question, though? Do you I'm really think I answer the question? Is I'm that a cheap shot? Wait, wait, wait. I'm not finished. The booking agent that gives Beanie and Bounty money every week says she's keeping a show on Instagram. And she said, I've got no Ciroc. I just want y'all to come through and perform on my Instagram. Are they going? Yes. Why are they going? Because they, they know they're going to get the bookings, isn't it? They need the bookings. There's no bookings. The clubs are closed right No, no, no. But potentially... There's the no mind festivals is, till next year, fam. No, listen to what I'm saying, though. But the mind is, I need to it's keep got her. no visas. Listen no. to what I'm saying, though. The mind frame is, I need to keep her... The, the mind frame office. is there. Yeah, they're going because yeah. that reason. All they're right, not going with the same I'm energy not. like yesterday. But, Corey, let me ask you a question. Big man thing, yeah? Would you do a live for anybody... On their page? Yeah. People have, people have asked me. I don't do it. Okay, but would you do it for some people? I've said to people. Come on, would you do it for this? some people? I'm asking you, say like, say like Juna Gong said, yo, Corey, I'm telling jump you on now. my life. I'm telling you, exactly what I'm telling you. Mm. I've done Zoom parties. I've actually got one tonight. Yeah. I've done lives on people's lives. Mm. But watch this. If I can't connect my page to your page, it's not happening. No matter who they are. I don't care who you are. Are you, so Box, you're, Park, Box Park wants me to do lives for Box Park, but they want me to use Box Park's live. I told them I'm going to do it when I buy the cable to connect my live to Box Park live. I hear you, but I, what I want to ask you about, you're saying no matter who, whether an artist, whether Jay-Z says, yo, Corey, no, no. you're not doing it. Why is it benefiting me? Well, but of course it's benefiting you. Oh, you see there. my face. That's it. So, but you just said that about you. But Everyone you, that sees you sees his numbers, though. Yeah. Everyone, so really that, yeah, but that's because they're promoting his name. They're yeah. asking him on their page. If so they're not promoting C6, as in you're going on Box Park's page, right? Mm. They're gonna, mm. if Box Park don't promote you, like our verses promote you, then it's pointless. Yeah. So if they do, I'm building they do, what's the problem? But that's and what I'm saying. saying. But based, based on what you just said, that's yeah. what so happened. You're asking me why, you're asking why Mataran got vexed. He's got vexed because... He's been asking, Major's been asking artists to do stuff, but they're not doing it. All right, so one question then. Let me ask you a question. Before quarantine, I don't know Major Hype for nothing music related. <clears throat> so why does he have a right to just okay. because it's quarantine to be so, this big can music I you, fan? Can I tell you, Major, that was, Major, Major was a part of a song called Liberal Love. Was. You know that was thing don't mean nothing again, you know. <laughs> you, you, said before, you said before quarantine. But me used to drive a Ferrari, right. you know, but I got a bus pass now. It don't make no difference. <laughs> no, but you said before quarantine, Major. You was said before quarantine, yeah. 
And I'm telling you, he was a part of a song called Liberal Love. No, but no, but I'm not how many, years ago? Yeah. How many years ago? He's still a part of... Well, you, you can slightly be still a part of Massive B, to be honest. And Massive B is the biggest, like, Hot 97, 25 years dance show. All right. You, I you want, can't go around that. All right, listen, listen. Let me ask you... All right, so listen. Before quarantine, did Major Hype ever use his massive platform for to DJ. support reggae music, anything? Because if, if he didn't, then we need to stop. Why is he getting more props than yeah. everyone else? Yes. So what he was celebrated the culture though. What he did, he did, he did, he did elevate the culture though. Yeah, but tell you why. That's what Versus and is doing. He's six. No, but no, he's six. Six. I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah. Major is allowed. Yeah, you tell me to that. do that. Yeah. Major is part of the Caribbean community. Yep. And okay. support unity. And that's it. He support Timberland. Solidarity. Timberland, listen to me. Timberland mm. and Swiss Beats is not part of the Caribbean community. They're associated family. Yes. Cousins and brothers are two <laughs> different things. <laughs> I hear you. But all right. No, cousin, but you, no cousin can't give me no chat. None? None. Yeah, yeah. You, me and you grow different still. You know, but yeah, you know, no cousin can't give me no chat and won't come sit at the head of the table. That yeah. can't run. All right. But let me speak. Let me, you know what happens? I honestly feel like that I feel like we pick and choose when we want to, when we want the support from the outside people. We don't do enough in dance. Dance to itself, Jamaican artists, as you said before, Busy Signal might not get a booking over Yasser, but when you go to Rotterdam or whatever, if it was just Jamaicans and Jamaica only, which one of these artists would be rich on a good platform doing anything? None. None. So if that's the case, if that is the case, like you just said, why would you turn down something yeah. we've proven that we don't even support? They don't buy the music. Let's be real. Epic, you know, you're a producer. You put your tune out. Epic put his tune out. You know the one that um, Spice was on? Um, that tune he put out with um, the brother from Ghana. Yeah? Um, Shatawali. Shatawali. 2000 and what? 17. All right, 2017. 2017. And... It never got no traction. It just had to keep going and trackling. Then you come back with the conscience, track it, track it, track it, come back with the, and then with the brother, with the, what's his name? Beginning of X, I can't remember his name again. Cyclone. Yeah, and then it uh, trackle again, and then Spice jumped on it, and then people started supporting it. We know that they don't support the music. They don't financially support it. They don't support it. So yeah. why are we now going to burn out a platform yeah. that are giving it to us? Because we don't yeah. do it for ourselves. We've proven. Take away Spain, yeah. take away Rotterdam, Take away Germany, take away England, take away Japan. It is a business suffer, man. All right. Like, so C6, I tell you this much. This, this uh, and this is my thing. Without yeah. having comment on mm. what Mataran might have done or Major mm. might have done. My thing is, you always look at a situation and say, how can I improve it? And the yeah. thing is, versus can go to Bounty and Beanie and say, listen, when you do this, all if we're not offering you no money. I can guarantee you, your album sales. You're going to have two or three albums in Billboard charts next week. Mm. I'm going to make sure you get traction on BET, VH1. Yeah. You're going to have a playlist for yourself on Spotify, on Tidal, mm. on Pandora. Now, yeah. the thing is, all right, if you go to a dance hall or a for the culture thing, how much mm. of those playlists are you linking with? Are you linking with somebody that is a curator that you know, that is also a DJ that control Pandora, Spotify, or whatever? To say that, listen, hey, I'm going to keep something and it's going to draw some attention on the internet. I want you to be on board and create a playlist as soon as it's done with them artists here. Because we have to take over the internet and we'll have that thing here. So more want to support on board. You're halfway forward with a package. These are artists that get advances from being signed, being in Monte Virgin. Bounty Killer was once signed to Swiss Meats. You understand? So... These are artists that I've seen advances, done big collabs, Bounty Killer with No Doubt, international Billboard number one song, Beanie Man work with Janet Jackson, who, who, whoever you want to think about in the business, songs mm. appear in movies and all of that, them sync license, master license. You cannot forward to them without something that sounds like business yeah. feasible to them. Yeah. See, they, this is, this they, is the they, thing. They don't need to do shows, trust no. me. This and they don't true. need to... To, 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 to do something for internet cloud or whatever, but they want to know that anything them invest them time in, 
there's something in there for them. Yeah. This is the thing, though. This is why when I said to you, you asked me if I do lives for any company, and I'll say to you, me just jumping on your life is dead. Mm. My face being there, my name being there is one. But if you're not coming to me with something making sense, I'm not going. Mm. Yeah. Do you understand me? Like, you can't just come to me and say to me, okay, so I've got a million followers, jump on my life. Mm. Am I allowed to put up all my, yeah, my big... Am I going to put a frame there that says, okay, my name is, that's my SoundCloud, this is this, come here, come there. I'm not going to do all of that. Mm. So you don't... So you don't don't production. Hold on, so you don't think that the numbers, okay, so, but you gave the example of... Yeah, but numbers numbers are one fact. But you see when you know the business side of things, numbers are just numbers. Yeah, but no, no, but no, but that's that's like you obviously at some point, and numbers are just numbers, but it's how you turn. Like, we we know of DJs, we know people that are DJs today that are just DJs because they had a following, they're not a 100%. DJ. 100%. So is, but this, this is what I'm saying. So, this is what I'm saying. My whole point is somehow you turn those numbers into money. Yeah, but but that's the systematic people, problem, though. That's, that's, that's the, the problem. No, listen to what I'm saying. Listen, wait, wait, that, let me say. Some people have the numbers and they turn it to money. Do you understand what I mean? You already have the money part. Do you understand what I mean? It's just getting the numbers. So more numbers equal more money, technically. But facts, the system is fair, especially in Jamaica, unfortunately. The system's failed in terms of how you get from, even down to a rhythm, yeah? Epic can make it back in the day from my experiences of growing up and watching rhythms being made. A man will make a rhythm. He will phone his brethren, certain time pay artists like Killer, etc., to jump on the rhythm. And then off the hype of those artists, the smaller artists will pay, I used to see like 500 US at that time, a man will pay to jump onto the rhythm and etc. and go from there. But the system was broken in terms of how dance will get from the producer to the artist, out onto the market in the streets. When the tunes used to get played in the clubs, man used to buy and bully a DJ or whatever it may be. And it was broken. So there were no residual income coming from dancehall artists, etc. And it means that in terms of having a plan and how you do things, they're very short-sighted in terms of it. Now, if there was a proper system and they understood, and for example, Tony Matron could make it make sense for Bounty and Beanie Man and understand how the business goes for, works properly, then there's a possibility and they potentially can take numbers to then obviously mo- and monetize it, right? And see what's going to come six months from now, 12 months. Then man there, just recently, yesterday, I've now just turned around and made profit, or not profit, obviously, made more money, right, just because of it, because of these relevant playlists, etc. If they had that pattern properly, major hype and the rest of them, and it was just something that was just an instant, I can guarantee they would have probably done it. And it's obviously the relevant support and them things they were there. Yeah. But there's an it's inbuilt exactly. system that's flawed, fam. It's been flawed yeah. for, the it's been flawed before respected. we were born. Yeah, and conspiracy. They're respected. I'm thinking, if these people, uh, uh, the ones that are complaining, uh, they are well known and respected enough. Swiss Beats know who, who Mataran is, mm. they know who Major Hype is. They mm. are respected enough to approach yeah. these other ent- the streaming entities, the TV networks. Yeah. However, sometimes you might not want to be the one that types out those emails, form a team, right. and have people doing this, because, make your brand. Become a business where employ people. Don't just be that one solo brand that I do everything mm-hmm. and and just everything is still about street. You've been doing this for twenty odd years or thirty odd years. Some yeah. of, some of them. You have to start forward and start thinking business like Swiss Swiss and Timberland could have just said, let's use both of our own pages. They mm. created a new brand. Yeah. Versus and bill it. It has. Mm. It doesn't have nothing to do with Swiss Swiss Beats name in the verses. It mm. have nothing to link Timberland name to it. It's just a mm. whole different name and brand. Yes. You understand? So, and, they, and so you can't say, hey, Versus been building for 10, 15, 20 years. It's just mm. collectively, I mean, we, why, why, why we never get some um, two or three um, influential DJs, comedians or whatever for, from our culture that does unify and say, let's create a brand. This, mm. this is going to be the name of the new platform. Mm. All of us going to, Lend and, and, and this is let's link up all these people that have influence. Grace, let's link up KFC Jamaica, let's link up Red Bull Jamaica, get some sponsorships on board. These are corporate brands, whether they get hit or not, for a good cause and for, for anything that they've been making money from, which are these drinks companies 
and, and brands make money from the Jamaican public for years. Digicel. That's why Digicel put back money and, and did something with Bounty. Mm. You think if uh, um, somebody influential came to them and said, listen, I want to do this with Bounty and Beanie, and Digicel, I want to board, Digicel wouldn't say no. Uh, um, would have said no to them, he wouldn't. Mm. But you didn't. So Digicel went directly to the artist and said, let's, let's just do something. Yes. Uh, because nobody's bringing the ideas to them. You, you know what? This sounds, you know what? The whole matter on thing sounds like, boy, I'm, me, I do a dance here. Yeah. I'm just basically doing a, um, just listen, you know me, I always come with these um, mad analogies, yeah? But I'm doing a dance here, yeah, me. And I said, boy, I know Epic for many, many years, you know. I know drama from what day and, boy, you know what? I, mean, I know Corey, so hey, what? You might come and do my dance for me, man. I, you know, I'm me, man. I'm C6, come on, man. And then a man says to you, you know what? Corey, you've been doing your thing for a while. I see the effort you put in. I see how you've been doing your thing. So hey, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you come and do, uh, you come and do that, a uh, booking on my event. And in return, you get A, B, and C. But I want, I want to book Corey because I'm me, innit? Me, I'm C6. And that's what it sounds like. It sounds like Mataran is vexed uh, and major hyper vexed because they didn't want to come and do, uh, come and do my party. But you went mm. and done you've went and done something to give yourself a platform and give a platform to others. And now they're using it like, because they're Americans, you're now using it as a problem. But the truth is, the package was put together. They, they respected the fact that there's over 65 years worth of history between the two of them. Oh, and cool. you know what? There's going to be something for you guys on the table. Like, their trend, I know it, it might seem like silly things, but as Epic was saying, they are going to get, they, they stand to gain so much from it. Yep. Do you get what I'm saying? This is, it, goes back, it goes back to where we started, where I said yeah. to you, the clash is beneficial mm. for three things. One, for being a man. Two, for Bounty Killer. And three, for the Jamaican culture. Mm. I want to say the Caribbean culture because the Caribbean no. was involved last night. No, no. The Jamaican culture. Now, it made us trend. Once you are mm. trending, you have just hit a market. Yeah. Watch a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> That's epic speed. Is it a celebration right there, sir? Yeah. yeah. Swing it, yeah. swing it. <laughs> there are so many people that were shazamming last night. Mm. <laughs> Spotify was there. Vibe magazine was there. Yep. World Star. If World Star is in your in your event, bro, on Instagram for two hours, you've made it. Mm. Forget that. Just understand me when I tell you CNN was talking about them this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. There is nothing, no TV, not even BBC, mm. that is higher than CNN. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me which one. None of them higher than CNN. Mm. If CNN is talking about Beanie and Bunted today, but they can sleep easy. But that that was that was like my that was my issue though because I was just thinking like what. Are you not thinking about there's, there's obviously there's Beanie Man, there's Man Killer, but then there's like another million other artists that have been doing music. So, are you not understanding the ripple effect it has as well? Yeah, but so, okay, I'm I can't the... get Beanie, I can't get Bounty, but I might go for it. I, no, I, no, I don't, no, I might go no, for it. No, 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 you have to understand. What? You see, let me say something about business versus is a business. Mm. If they went for a if they didn't go for Beanie and Bounty, yeah. The only other people they could go for is might be a Beris Hammond or a Sanchez or yep. that caliber of artist or a Bujubantan. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying them. I'm not saying them as in the show. I'm just talking about as in you see you, see, you said Jamaica basically benefited. I'm yeah, saying but, but then now people's eyes fact, are on other artists in the country. We benefit on that scale mm. to get eyes on us. Mm. We have to push forward the biggest things we have. Yeah. Okay. Now, on a, on a platform, on a pl any platform that's over that kind of cal caliber of people, mm. the only people that we could send forward for any clash from Jamaica is Movado Cartel. Cartel's in prison, not going to happen. Uh, we, 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 know, know, we know we what? We have to do some wait, celebrity wait, wait, clash. Wait there, one second. Wait there, one second. You lot have just basically moved on to the next question. And the next question is, like, what other dancehall artists do you think could be on that world stage? So this I'm going to answer you now. Since you asked that question, 
The only people is Movado Cato. Not gonna happen. Cato's in prison. It would be either Beris and somebody, but I don't know who could go up against Beris. Um, I mean, I mean, it too, it wouldn't be so much dancer, dancer, but for Jamaican culture, I think mm. they could have a Sean Paul and Shaggy. And Sean it would have bring a different, it would have bring a different market because nobody's Paul. seen them competitive before. Mm -hmm. If you bring Sean Paul versus Shaggy, I'm telling you yeah. now, it will crack a million. Yeah. Hundred percent. Shaggy is ridiculous. Don't do more numbers. Oh, his, num his numbers is mud. I feel like you don't understand that Sean Paul is gonna crack the numbers. Yeah, Shaggy. Sean Paul is bringing in Latinos, <laughs> reggaeton yeah. market. Sean Paul it's Paul the hybrid. Is crack the numbers and Shaggy's gonna crack the songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's I mad. Remember, Shaggy was the first man alive to go diamond. Yep. Alive. No other artist ever had got no rapper, no and, nothing. And if I wanted to bring another clash. But then this wouldn't happen either because man's in prison. Ninja versus Shaba. You reckon that would be good on the live stage, on, on the world stage? Because Ninja would work. On a, on I don't a, think Ninja. I don't. Don't. Ninja yeah. don't. Ninja don't have. Listen, if you're not a Jamaican stage show yeah. fan, you have to you understand. Don't know Ninja, man. Listen to me again. Listen to, yeah. me again. Listen to me again. How versus happens for dancehall is not how versus happens for hip hop. I, I, but yeah, they, they have, have to have, 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 have people though. to be under. They have to be able. To promote mm. it. And the Ninja Man is a it's national not a treasure. He's a national treasure only, <laughs> only for stage shows. Uh, name, five, name, five, name, five, name five tunes that he's got. He doesn't have five songs. That, that's why he, can't, he could never be on that platform. <laughs> yeah. Supercat, Supercat and Shabba, maybe. But right, so what, what about, what about Sizzler and Caperton? Someone yeah. that's, that. that. that's just Jamaica, though, not for verses. That's not going to happen. You know what it is, yeah? yeah? You have to remember, the platform they're on as well. I know. They, but they're fire. 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 they <laughs> that's just the intro, fam. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot that can do it. There's not a lot that can do it. It's got, if it's not, a, as you said, I, I just chipped out. But if it's not a car, I'm just saying. Model, I'm just saying the only reason, hmm. and I can I can tell you now because I speak to these people. The only reason why Mataran is pissed off is because he, they spoke about this a month ago. Okay. Major Mataran, they all spoke about this a month ago, saying, "Yo, when the verse, the first verses happened." And it's like, yo, you see if this person versus this person? Mm. And then it happens. Yeah. They're, question they're then, Corey. They're haters, bro. Corey, they're haters. question then, yeah? Do you think that Versus was the right platform for Beanie and Bounty? They just make sure you get that point across. Do you think it was the right? Or do you think it should have gone for Major Ivan Tony? When it comes on the platforms, for that event, for exactly what happened yesterday, that's the exact place it should happen. Mm. Why? Because they tried it on Digicel. Mm. Yeah. What happened? They they gave it it. It. Do you it's think it's 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 some, they got, they gave away some free credit? That's about it. But do you um, think it was because it wasn't a clash and it was dubbed as uh, and? Nah, man. You have to understand. All right. Most man call and say Corey common clash for the culture. Yeah. Every time I press play, it's my name. If Beanie and Bounty done a clash yesterday, and once he sang one song, that's Bounty's name, fam. Yeah, no, but what I mean is Digicel didn't sell it as a clash. They sold no. it as a... But when you see Beanie and Bounty, you're going to expect competition, bro. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is what you expect and what is sold as... Happens, you, yeah. Because you've got to remember marketing. The yeah. verses in this current climate, yeah. right now, the clashes, clashes are doing more than anything. I've never seen so many clashes. Mm. Uh, there's so many clashes, mm. like clashes over all things. There's mm. people, like as I said, Major Hype to me is a comedian that dresses up as a woman. He's not so, mm. now he's the clash master. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> that's Mitzi, that's, mit that's not, what's, what's going on? Well, go on, like you're, you're just a comedian, bro. So why all of a sudden are you the clash master? <laughs> Oh, I think from what them man just said earlier, I, I did. I have looked into it and been following it, and um, yeah, like they said, I think they were, he was he was in a sound, and um, so he's had history. He's got history in in the clash, but he's history not obviously he's not relevant now. X-rated. Let me ask you a question. 
You ever played at a christening and the uncle of the baby comes over and says, yo, come in your own soul, you know? <laughs> How many times has that happened to you? I can't, I can't, I can't, can't Steve. You know how funny that is? That happens all the time. It happens all the time. Glad. Everyone, christening, wedding, funeral. Yeah, no, you know, so I mean, you know what it is? Song, you know? I think, you know what it is? I think it's a frustration for them and their store. I think it's just obviously they, they try the thing and man, yeah, I've, I've, I've gone You've got past nothing them. to offer. If you don't have nothing to offer, then yeah. just not, you can't. These are the goats of the of our thing, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, come on, have some respect. I mean, but can I tell you one of my biggest issues with last night? Bounty killer, beanie man. Yeah, I re I I remember their music from when I was in primary school. Yeah, I'm a big grown man now, so that shows me that they have got so much history. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's look at it. 65 plus years, yeah, worth of history, hits, consistency. And you got 1.5 million less views than Takeshi 69. Yeah, but he's an idiot, bro. Bro, do you know how? No, but you got to know. Yeah, but fam, that's a different <laughs> thing, though. Bro, yeah, he's got all the, all the Mexican. Remember, this is a young Mexican. Dude. No, but it's not even up. it, no conspiracy. That you're matching up a man who. Come out of pen to snitch you. He always he's, he's a king of trolling. Right he's now he dominates social media he's like it's a joke thing. I don't, there's I no don't know. way. I no know. way and for huh? I don't know what's in C6 water yet, but fam, stop drinking. <laughs> no, no, you're not listening. You're on the phone. You're on the phone. I said oh, I heard exactly what yes, you said. I, it but it bug, it bugs me. me. Listen it, to me. 65 years of music. No, but I hear you. I hear you. We all hear you, fam. That's all of us a, feel it. All of us feel that, that yeah? How I would have loved you, to see... How can you compare Beanie and Bounty? I'm looking for the ingredients. Let's see what's in the water. Me. I don't know. How can Is that you compare Beanie and Bounty to the 6 9 bro? No, yeah. no. Just, you're not listening. You're not listening. I, know, I never compared. I said I the one thing I really hated to see was that yeah. our two giants could mm -hmm. only get 500,000. Can I tell you why? Could get Can, I tell you why? Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? When we was DJing at turntables, people didn't have internet, bro. Mm. The people that listen to Spotify, yeah. all they have is data. Yeah, and they listen to him. They do everything online. Mm. A man that is below 22... Demographic. Demographic. I hear a man that's below 25 DJing now will get 10,000 more views than the man that's been DJing for 20 years ago. Yeah. Why? Because his online presence is not yeah. like the man that's younger. Because yeah. his audience is younger. Yeah, it's the same. Yes, audience it's... is based on what you get. A man, a man might look at a song like Slam and whatever and look at the streams and say, yo, that's a joke thing, that's a big song. But then, why am no, I going to stream something? Time? Where, where are you going to stream something that probably sold 200, 300,000 records, thousand records before? Why are you going to stream it a lot? You probably own the record, you own the CD, or you own, you've bought Beanie Man best, best album, best of, best of the best of uh, uh, Beanie Man. You're not going to go stream something that you already own or you've been listening for years. So then you might compare that and, and you might look at a, a current artist and say, yo, them on the top song of uh, 400 million streams. And you, it's like looking at Sean Paul numbers. I mean, Charlie Black's Party Animal is probably done more than any Sean Paul sing, um, single that he's done when you check the Spotify streams. But mm. then, would somebody say Party Animal is a bigger song than Temperature or any other songs that, 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 that um, Sean Paul's done? Yeah. It's just the era of when it came out. You understand? I get it. I, get it. Yeah. I, I understand it, but I'm just talking about pure frustration. It hurts. Because I'm looking and I'm saying, yeah. Yes, it's, just, like, it's, yeah. it's frustrating. Yeah. Yes, no, I don't think you can compare that one still. No, yeah, but you know what? You know what? See, but Bounty Killer and Beanie Man would fill up a would go and fill up a bigger stadium or a field easier than Takashi, whatever his name is, no, right? Put them on a world tour six, no. Yeah, and I really said six nine, right? Like at, not, a few before he went to jail, anyway. At least, no. in my, you don't think so? No. no. Right now, six nine. No. His thing is mad, you know. No, he's more, but you know what? When I see him, you have to understand as well, yeah. But the, num the number that Takashi 69 got here, yeah, technically, we've had the conversation before. He probably had about 5% of his following, you know. He's still got, he's got something like 14 million followers. So for him to get a million people in his life, 
he still technically ain't really hit a number. He's hit a great number, if you know, if you get what I'm saying. But in comparison, whole, listen to but me. In comparison to his followers, he ain't hit no number. If he's six got nine, followers. If six nine went back on live the second hour. Hundred percent knocking five million. Yeah. But of course he would, because he's because con- he's controversial as well. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. You see, if, you see if you see if you have to understand, yeah. If Beyonce went on a live and do mm. a live performance, mm. or Beyonce went on live and was in the park, mm. if Beyonce went on live and talk about Rihanna, mm. you get more <laughs> followers than he doing a whole performance. Mm. Yeah. All right, who do you reckon will get the most lives like right now? Like just like just jump on within. Five minutes, not doing anything special. Just who's got that traction? As you see, six nine did it. Who else? Drake. Tory Lanez. No. Drake. Nah. Maybe Beyonce Drake. with Duppy. Jay Z. Let me tell you. I've seen people. I've seen Drake go into people's lives, and the number, the number jumps. Up, yeah. But do you think it's gonna be? But I think it would just be people like. Let me tell you. Again. Let me you tell know, you. Like the, the 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 people like the the gossip the gossip people. So the in Kardashian, the UK. Yeah. In the UK, not even Kim, her little sister. In the UK, right? Mm, yeah. If Skepta went on his live, it jumps. If Ooh. if if in America, um, what's her name? Um, fucking hell. Um, the younger Kardashian sister. What's her yeah, name? Yeah, the young one. Yeah. Kylie. Oh. Kylie. Kylie. If Kylie goes on a live and just Kylie, says, you don't need to say nothing. Mm. Just put just put it to the ceiling. You can just. She can just go live and leave it there. You see the fan? You see the ceiling fan? <laughs> he can just put one fingernail. Mm. And people will be having a conversation Yo. with themselves in the comments. Black <laughs> screen. And they're talking. Yapping away. They'll be mm. having a conversation with themselves. Oh, Yo, Kylie. Hey, Kylie, that paint looks so good on the wall. <laughs> oh, that fan. Do you see how that fan is... You see how that fan is spinning? Oh, he was mad. Here, this is, this is our mad as well. If Cardi B goes on live mm. at the same time as Nicki Minaj, who has more viewers? Oh, that's a clash. Cardi, Different. B. Like, Cardi will take that man. Cardi B, but Cardi, but she's she's built from social media, so I you think... have to understand. Listen to me carefully. Both of them are going on to do a performance. Ooh. Wow. Why? I don't know. That's tough. I might give it to Nicki still. I don't Nicky know. I think I think Cardi, based Nicky on based on, to promote. No, based on based on what he said earlier with the six nine, the theory behind the numbers, I'm saying Cardi B. Yeah. Based on if that, they're both. If if Cardi went on live to do a performance mm. and Nicki went on live to bash Cardi, there would be everyone on Nicki's page. Oh yeah, yeah. for that yeah. for if that reason. Cardi yeah. went on live to bash Nicki and Nicki did the performance. Her page is empty. No one's in Cardi Nicki's page. Mm. No. People only go for things that are entertaining. Yeah, you know what? I, you know what? It's funny you say that. Just before I was speaking to you guys, um, Major Hack was on. He was talking. I was on there. Was well, you on there, yeah? Ooh, they were talking about the whole thing, yeah? So, Swiss Beats went on there. Yes, I saw the, in, they, they were talking to each other and they, they kind of, well, it seemed like they ironed it out, but who knows? No one knows. But his numbers are like near 10,000. He was just Ooh. talking. Bro, so when Swiss Beast jumped on there, he went to 17,000. 17,000. Was he when dressed he up as a man or was he a, a woman? He was in his normal state. He was in his normal state. But what I'm saying is, when he's done clashes, what, 3,000? If Ooh, Mitzi was on there. 4,000. <laughs> so it, it just goes to show that controversy sells, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. definitely. I see six. I'm going live with you in a minute. I'm cussing you out, Bridget. No worry, bro, I'm not going to attract no numbers. I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> my, fans, my fans don't have internet. <laughs> they AOL, AOL dial-up thing. They, don't you go live on Insta? 2, huh? 2G thing. No, I don't, I don't really go live, no. I've done a couple, but not a lot. Not a lot. I, I do think that, um, but this just come the other day. So I might start. Uh, rig. Yeah. I, mean, oh, I might do I a rig. What I do think, though, is... The, we were speaking about the lives. In fact, that might be a good little spin-off. I know you got to go. What time you got to get out of it, Corey? They've been gone already. Huh? All right. All right. So, yeah, we'll wrap, it up. we'll wrap it up quick. Respect, <laughs> for, respect for staying still. Um, lives. Insta lives. Now, initially, when we first started this pod eight weeks ago, I was kind of like... Nine? Nine weeks ago. Same yeah. thing. I was... um. 
I was probably like thinking, right, the, the live thing, I didn't know how it was going to work. I didn't know about the success of it. Um, I felt that too many people were going on live at one time. And I think sometimes when we oversaturate things, we water it down for ourselves. You get what I'm saying? Because if you jump on a live, if I see DJ Michael Jones, two people, Dave, Dave M, track five people, and just keep going, I might not even reach down to Corey. I just buy it because I'm pissed off. Do you get what I'm saying? As a, as a listener. So I feel like I was thinking that it was oversaturated. I didn't know how the success of it. And I believe that throughout the eight weeks, I've seen some people like Drama with his Drinky Drinky Fridays. I've seen that they're building something. So like the people that just build, decided to build something Ooh. and use this time and say, well, you know what? I'm going to do a live and I'm going to treat the live like a radio show. I'm going to respect it. I'm going to put time and effort into it. I think they've benefited. I think those that have just jumped on to try and grab the hype, I think they've fallen off. And what I do think is going to happen is I think the lives are going to make or break some people. So shouts going out to Lani right now, you know, so right now his thing... I was just about to say that. Yeah, Man was trending up. the same time as Monty and Beanie were trending. He was trending on Twitter last night. Too. So I'm saying, his thing is turn up and I respect yeah, that. He's used this time to turn up his thing. But then I've seen DJs that are doing things on the roadside, like in the dances, them, try and do a live. And it's like, yo, Gretchen, luck off the like, internet. It's two different worlds, though. It's two different worlds, isn't it? Well, Corey, when I saw Corey's live and he was in a shirt and tie and all of that, I said, rah, this is a next level still. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 it's what you make of your live, isn't it? Yeah, you know I mean, the whole, the whole, the whole See, the thing is, yeah. The whole no. DJ thing here for me and live, yeah, it's an image. Mm. If you're not, it's, it's like you have a company. Mm. If you're selling shit product, mm. no one's going to buy. Yeah. No matter the price. No matter the price. Sometimes you give away things for free and they don't want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. So, so I'm just saying, like, I it's go... Man who can't get no girl in there. So, I'll tell you now, yeah, the first week that we was at home, Mm. I was doing nothing. I was at home watching people's lives. And everyone knows I have my equipment. It's not like I ain't got my own shit. So mm. I could have went live, but I was like watching to see what exactly are we really going to, are we really going to be doing this? Because mm. I said to myself like, fam, am I really going to be house playing for free? Mm. That's the first thing that came to my mind. And I was like, are the clubs really closed? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I, I remember, wait. I remember cause someone was Bro. still advertising bookings and yeah, you were right. saying, Bro. yo, that man they must be the only DJ that still got bookings. I remember <laughs> my, last, it, <laughs> my last booking here was on March the 15th, bro. Yeah. Oh, you from remember. DHE. I came from DHE the week before. <clears throat> I had bookings Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. When I came home on the Sunday night here, the government said, All right, you pussy home, stay home. Yeah, done. Well, you know what? Lucky for me, I had a I had a birthday comedy show on the seventh, and then my my birthday dance on the fourteenth of March. Yeah, but this yeah. is what I'm saying. And my then last, booking, afterwards. My last yeah. booking was on the fifteenth, bro. Same I packed up my sound in the storage, mm. and I came to my yard. And the next morning, I heard, "Okay, so you know y'all staying home, right?" I'm like, "What? Mm. Yeah, yeah, you man. can't go nowhere. You yes. got to shop your stuff. You got to cook food. All the food shops are closing." I said. Man, wrong about yes. Tyler Rowland and thing. <laughs> Every one of my bookings have been moved I was to like, 2021. I was like, what the fuck y'all talking about? Mm. How's that possible? So I started seeing everyone going on live, and I was like, it's Friday. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Every man was on live Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm. The Monday now, two DJs, from, one from America, one from Jamaica, phoned me and went, yo, I want to go live here. How's this going to work? Remember, and I ain't going live yet. <laughs> What's calling me saying, what am I supposed to do? I was like, I have to sit in my house and figure out how I'm supposed to go live and not sound like these men last week. Because mm -hmm. these men last week sounded like, they didn't sound like a pirate station. It sounded like they were rushing, didn't it? And they didn't know what they was doing. They was just all over And them. then I, I, I start seeing man's bedroom windows. I start seeing man's bed. I see some, <laughs> I, see man, I see man's girls walking past and I'm like, what are you doing? Where's the class? 
<laughs> Where's the image? Where's the image? Yeah, I hear that. No, I, I see you man coming out with red bottom shoes and Gucci tops and Ferragamo belts, but where's the rascal background in your yard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to sit down. And, and if, if everyone knows me, yeah, when I come to a club, bro, I mean, oh. basic, basic DJ clothes. All a t-shirt or a t-shirt and jeans. And I'm always smelling fresh. So I don't expect my life to look how I am. Mm. And I was like, fam, nah, fam, man can't do that. I just, I sat down for two more days and I was like, let me watch his lives again. <laughs> uh, I think the whole thing with the live for me, it was more for me to just showcase music more than anything. Not, I don't, not really about numbers and followers. And yeah, but you know what it is, yeah? Like, at the end of the day, we're all stuck in the same position, in it? And we all know that sometimes when we go to clubs and we DJ in clubs, you kind of always hear the same thing. So the thing so is now that, it's giving me a chance. Me being in, in my house, I've gone into my, the, the archives of my laptop now and said, bah, 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 that tune there. So this then, is the thing. Yeah, that tune there. Why? Let me play that tune in my house because no one can't tell me that I'm a no promoter can come and tell me, why, why are you playing that? I told you to play R&B and I told you to play this song. I want you to play this song. I can play anything I want. It gives give you the freedom. It's not really about followers for me for this. It's not really about getting up. It's not, I'm not built, I don't, you know what? I hardly go on Instagram. Like before this whole quarantine thing, my Instagram thing was dead. Mm. I'll be honest with you. Like, this is why. It wasn't about numbers. Want, this is why when, when he said about me wearing a shirt on Sunday, I said to myself, Corey, when I look at my laptop or my CD case, I see every genre of music. Mm. I have seven days, fam. It's my Instagram. If I feel like I want to go on for the whole day, mm. that's my business. I'm going to go on there and I'm going to play gospel on Sunday. I'm going to play new tunes on Monday. And I'm going to play old school on Tuesday. And if I don't feel like doing anything on Wednesday, fuck y'all on Wednesday. I'll stay home mm. and do nothing. But I, I like to big up Marcus, though, because he did the 24-hour thing. where right? <laughs> he's the man, rude <laughs> boy. Well, I got to get, get the ratings, but I was in there still. And then I went to work in the morning and he was still on. I was like, no. no. How, many, how much did he do, Jama? 15. It was mad still. I'm I, seen, like, I seen him. I went to bed and woke up and seen him. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I said, bro, you got to sleep. You know what's mad, yeah? You know what's mad? Someone said to me to do a six-hour old-school set, mm. reggae and dance with my CD case. And I was like, Fuck, you know, fam. So last week, Wednesday, I went storage, got out of the CDJs, got out of the, 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 the generator, mm. went to the park, plug up. Yeah, I see it still. And fam, let me tell you this year. I come back to my laptop and I'm like, you pussy old laptop. Yeah. Different feeling. My life, fam. Because when I open my CDKs here, I feel like I'm DJing. Yeah, different feeling, man. Different feeling, man. A man don't understand you. Yeah. X Ready can tell you. When I used to play CDs, bro, there's no guy, none can chat to me with the Axis 9. None. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you, you, them. Didn't, you didn't come over to our side of the water. I'm just saying. Even if I did, no, none but, of you can do it. Remember, 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 listen, remember, listen. You didn't come over to this side of the water, so keep your big talk over there, so. <laughs> 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 Madness. <laughs> Madness. You know what, oh, see, on, on, on the live thing, yeah, yeah, so I've been alive, I think, four times mm. total. So I did the only official live, like, targeted marketing was the Matt's Barbecue, man, and hollered at me, mm. said, cool, all right, cool, I'll do a live. Other than that, you know what, it's been a, because man ain't got no gym again, you get me? You ain't got, I got my, what? I, huh? You don't have any what? No, I ain't, there's no gym, I'm a gym man, so I ain't got no gym again, right, as a mentor, really, so to speak. Music, barring being a dad and a family man, like mother and uncles and all them thing there. Music is my next thing in it. That's my baby. That was my first baby before my picking them bought. So it's a thing of all right, cool. So I went on live and I said, you know what? I'm just playing what same as like um X said, I'm just playing tunes and I went on tree like tree time. About even yesterday, I got gassed. I even missed the bounty killer look. I got gassed because what I'm hearing, innit? I missed it because I was jumping up and Bottle in my hand and all them thing there. So I went live quickly, what, 30 or whatever people come on there. And then Instagram kicked me out. But it's only really tomorrow or when is this going out? Tomorrow? Monday? Yeah. Tuesday? Yeah, it's Monday. only tomorrow is my first proper Instagram. But I had to, in the same way, 
Corey's actually saying, why he had to do something different. I've had to sit down and think, right, I'm actually going to do this properly now. I've never marketed my life. I've got a roof. I'm really having a rooftop day party tomorrow on a roof in a club. The, what? The thing on is top. It, and thing to advertise and market my brand and and everything else I've done is like, I did the wilding out show on Friday, a Zoom party. That's 1,500 people. They're Americans, right? And I did whatever other little things that man's been doing these Zoom parties. But it's only now I'm trying to put that thing into correctly because I realised, Ra, after speaking to a couple of business analysts, like proper people, they're saying, reality, 2020, what, we're not going into no club this year. That's their kind yeah. of the forecast is. So I patterned my thing up and the rigs and all of that. So I thought, right, let me do my thing proper and how I can change it up. And the same way I see Corey doing his thing, I was like, rah. I kind of felt jealous. Still, I want to go and get out my CD pouches. <laughs> right? I'm doing, I'm telling you, man, now, yeah. Every Wednesday, I'm going outside. Generator and deck, I'm a CD case. I'm not burning no new CDs. I've got a whole CD of R&B and hip hop, brother, and house and all of that. Remember, I used to walk with two CD cases. <laughs> So I've got two CD cases to play for hours. Why Wednesday though? Because why not? Every day. So why not? So wait. So Corey, you do you do live every day? No, I do Sunday gospel. Yeah. Middle of the day, so three till six. Yeah. And on a Monday is like a normal club, so you have new music. Mhm. Tuesday, old school everything. So mm. it's like a big people dance basically. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wednesday was my free day. Okay. Take a rest on a Wednesday. And then the Thursday is like a full rest too, but I only go on like 12 o'clock in the night. Okay. So that's the game, that's myself the good break. Oh. And then on Friday night, another club night, I don't go on Saturday. Okay. Saturday, right. I feel like Saturdays, every DJ that has their followers should be on live on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I don't care if there's a hundred man on live, bro. Everyone has their own fans. Yeah, but I just feel like I feel like that there is that that to me that's that one little thing that separates because I don't think there's no DJ that has their fan that doesn't share yeah. someone else, a liking with another DJ. So yeah, I hear you, but see, six, so, listen to this, mm. right? Listen to this. Six, seven of us here, yeah. Mm -hmm. If seven of us go on live at seven o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. We're all seven different DJs, bro. Of course. Conspiracy is never gonna play Bujumanto. Are you sure? <laughs> nah, Ruben, nah, 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 nah. Why? You know what, Corey? <laughs> Corey, before I played hip hop and R and B, listen to me, I say. Actually, a dancehall DJ. Listen to what I'm saying to you again. From Twelve Tribe. <laughs> At seven o'clock, you're not going to play Bujumanto. Nah, re realistically, now nah, I want some girl okay. to lose their waistline. Still. Thank you. But... So when X rated goes on at seven o'clock, he's not going to play Vibes Cartel. Now you know. Because you're not. <laughs> you start the Vibes Cartel. <laughs> Fat's going to go on. And if I know Fat's correctly, he's going to have a DJ DJ. And then we want to hear some, might be some old school funky from Fat's. Cheers. Mm. When C6 goes on, he might play anything. <laughs> Out of the box, anything at all. Oh, yeah, I get, I get, I get Epic might go on and Epic might play some dub plates. Bro, that's mm. seven different shows, bro. You see what I'm mm. saying? When, when drama goes on, we don't know what drama might do. You might play like, some, slow, some slow jams or something. You'll never know. Uh, uh, that's facts. He might what play. I'm saying to you is, yeah, last month worrying that. about what the next man is doing. Yeah. And this is the problem. I, I don't worry about what nobody do. Mm. I care minus zero. Mm. If Epic knows when I come in a dance here, I ask what's the last song being played. That's yeah. it. I don't care what else happens. Oh. Just the last I song. Just know, yeah, I know. Man. I just know. He might, he might, he might check your history. He might if I look in your history, yeah? if I look in your history, it's track. because I want to know. If you said you play hip hop, I want to see what you play. Yeah. What I'm going to play it again. But yeah. I might even continue to play hip hop. You can't ever worry about an next man. Yeah, I tell people that all the time, but I do think though. Well, you just told yourself the, that. No, but with the live, no, I tell people not. You see, when it comes to, like, my my philosophy is this: there's an, enough clubs, enough ravers, enough people to never worry about another DJ. Hundred percent. But what I do think is that you see the Instagram. What I felt was the impact that it was given to the fans, not about the DJs. I wasn't watching the DJs. I'm talking about 
people looking at their Instagram and then mm. getting annoyed that there's yeah. that the DJs it's are me. just overdoing it. And so then by by curiously that's affecting us. All right. What's do, you know when you give too much, sometimes you annoy people. And once I, you, I, I, that's what that was what I meant at the beginning. I hundred percent agree. Yeah. Well, you only can see who's live who you're following. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So why do I follow you in the first place? So if you're not following him, <laughs> you can't see what he's doing. Yeah. Mm. People might say to me, what, Corey, you're not following me, but you know what? We're bridges. I've got your number. If I want to talk to you, I'm going to call you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's real. If you, don't, if, you, if you don't distract your mind with something, you can never be distracted. Yeah. yeah. And it sounds, it sounds weird, but that's how I live. No, it's not wrong with that. That's, 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 and, stop and, worrying. And I, say, I say on Saturdays, Bro, everyone, every girl sends me every man's live, bro. Mm. I don't even follow these men, but they all send me it because we're <laughs> telling them, send the live, send the live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're fans. And they're sending the motherfucking live. Mm. And they're my fans, so they're sending me the live. Mm. And I'm very, I'm bossy with it. I'm coming to your live and I'm chilling there. I'm, I'm even commenting. I'm commenting. If I come in your live, I'm commenting. I don't care who yeah, you are. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. I'm but see, kidding. remember, DJs follow more DJs, you know, as well. You know, so when you're you know, seeing you lights, some, listen, you have some DJs that always in my life, bro. Ooh. They'll never see a ross word. <laughs> nah, man, slum, man. Any, any live I go in, it's, it's a straight commenting thing because yeah, me, they I, never I, see I, a I, word. Mm, I've met my presence. Why are you before. here? Of course. No, All right, that's, that's a big thing. There, that's a know. big thing with the clash, too. You know, now I, I don't know if you guys address it, but. You look at the caliber and, 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 and the demographic of the artists from dancehall that were commenting. No, mm. popcorn, spice, Conscience. Jada Kingdom, Conscience. Conscience. Yes, and then try to think about the ones that weren't commenting that always make this claim of I should have the two. I, know, but, but, uh, I think there. why they don't have it. But were they there? And because they're not verified, we never see them. Would you? Would you come here? Hold on, hold on. But there's a lot of screenshots of no. different moments hold on. and video hold recording that we still don't see them. It's what C6 said. Mm. If you're not verified, yeah. your comment does not come on everyone's page. Mm. I'll let you know this. When the live gets to over a certain amount of people, yeah. if you're not verified, your mm. comment is not being seen. Yeah, only by your auntie. The it's time. the only person seeing it. Auntie Sandra, no one else. Yeah, but you know what you don't see? your friends you didn't see it. But you didn't see... Ele- I, I, when I check out the artists then, because I was just saying before this, I thought, let me be a bit nosy. Let me look at Elephant Man. I looked at Harry Toddler and other artists to see if they said, right, well done for last night, etc." I Ooh. looked on Twitter. I looked on NX Man's page. And hardly any artist from out of Jamaica was big enough what happened yesterday. Yeah, but how many phone calls did they get, though? That's what you got to think, though. How many phone calls? Um, you know it's what? not even a phone call thing that you have to... A man... A social that's media. going to boost the culture. Or a social media. Conspiracy? Yeah. yeah. Jamaican people do not publicly congregate. Mm. They don't... Uh, they don't appreciate publicly. They yeah. don't... They don't... Uh, they don't applaud publicly. Mm. And that's and a problem that. we've had. Unless they're dead. Black people in general. Okay, yeah, unless they're dead. And no, they're I wouldn't like, even say black people. You know why I wouldn't say black people? Why? When Cartel versus Wizkid the other day, mm. was the Africans there? Yeah, but that's more because it was like... No, no. Hey, you know what? You know what? I'm going to make this... I'm going to make you... there. On my other podcast here, me and White Yardy had a big argument because he was saying Jamaicans don't support Jamaicans, but Africans support Africans. And I was just arguing just because of being patriotic but the truth is that's what fight, it is the biggest fight and then you, the, the biggest conversation about this whole thing is matter which, which is a fight you know what um so we, we do that Mataran had um lexus 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 harry toddler <clears throat> and someone else on his live a couple days ago maybe about three or four days ago <laughs> And when they, um, Mataron was talking to Lexus and them and asking them about this and about the whole situation with Swiss Beats. Mm. And what Harry Toddler was saying, more well, Lexus actually, was saying that a lot of the men them are not familiar with the whole Instagram thing. They don't know how to use it. Mm. So I don't know if there's any truth in that. That's, that's, that goes back to you saying about the numbers. Yeah. I don't know if there's any truth in that. It's it's true. They don't know. Maybe I they can't believe that. Or they have Instagram. When or if they you, have when Instagram, you, they've got someone else controlling it for them. Or uh, I don't know what the case may be, but. That came up in conversation. Buju Banton went on his live for the first time with um with, with Legend. 
with John Legend. Who's that? Would you? Would you? Would you oh, mind yeah, to yeah. went live with John Legend? Yeah, I saw that. Would you said to the little man beside him, so how do you do this again? He's got Instagram account. He's verified. He's got thousands of followers. He doesn't yeah, know what he has to go live. Yeah. yeah, but Corey, you have to remember as well, he's been out of, he's been out of normal. No, but that's what I'm saying. Life. Even the no, people... Beanie Man, Beanie man, else. Beanie man did the same thing. Beanie Man did the same thing the other day. He didn't, he, he, he had someone controlling, he was doing some interview with a magazine and he had someone controlling it. He didn't know what to do. But oh. X, so that's what I was saying from before. You see like how the whole system of how even how they make music, how they publish it, all of them things there. The whole system, they don't have a team properly enough in Jamaica, they may have a tour manager and this man does this, etc. basic. But they don't have it set up like a, an average hip-hop artist, etc. And because of this now, they don't understand how to really maximise upon things like social media to actually make some money from it. They, and it's they, a they, massive problem in Jamaica. Yeah, but, please tell them, Bridget. Hold on, but, I know you know how it works. Because, Bruce, do you also, do, do you think here yeah, that we sometimes think like Jamaica is some massive... The, the, the music here yeah, and the influence on the rest of the world is fantastic from Jamaica. Above the but unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, Jamaica is not that big, and Glad Jamaica is, and Jamaica is still technically a third world country. So We're developing. There's less than five million people in Jamaica. I think it's about two point something. Yeah. to the rest of the world, you know. Jamaican population was Jamaican population was on six nines live. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge, but we but we we kind of put a thing. We kind of have a thought process like, rah, Jamaica doesn't <laughs> operate correctly. Jamaica shouldn't operate correctly. Jamaica operates better technically than it almost should, really, on the yeah. scale of things, on the scale of the world. The influence that Jamaica has on the world, yeah, yeah. they're they're overperforming. No, I, I, I disagree. No, because I have to because no, no, because Jamaicans no, hire. Jamaicans are very intelligent people, yeah? And what I mean by, when I say that, not just intelligence, hold on, hold on, right? There's, there's, there's about two point, there's two there's point under, three, under three million people, yeah? Jamaica, Jamaica have, in terms of education, right? Jamaica has the number one of the number one hospitals. UE Hospital is one of the most sought for hospitals for people to go and train, right? They have people that learn and they go and look after different record labels, etc. in New York from Jamaica, you know? So there's people that Jamaican that know Wagwan and they have the smarts, they've got the book smarts, everything, to be able to do it. But unfortunately, within the music industry and how influential we are around the world, we're not applying it to ourselves, right, properly enough to really capitalise. But Cons, listen to this. Listen to what Fats is saying, yeah? Yeah, go on. There is, is Jamaica itself is so small. Uh -huh. you, all right, listen, Corey just said there's 2.9 million people in Jamaica. Now, you, you, Corey's uptown, you're uptown. How many of those Jamaicans don't have an education out of the 2.9 million? How many of those 2.9 million have never been to that cinema that you two used to roll in? Yeah. What are you saying? Now, no, the, point, the, point is, the point is, they are so small, and the mm. influence that they do have across the world, even us here, yeah. other than you, the guys that are born there and will grow there, like, uh, we, like, my whole persona... Yeah. Is built from Jamaica. Jamaican culture. Yeah, yeah. And, but and, we're and, not even hearing our potential is my problem though. Like, no, but, but, you know, but they've exceeded their potential, bro, because they are so small. So the Ooh. fact is that the yeah. guy in Iceland that knows Bob Marley and the guy in and Rotterdam when they when they have the big festival in Belgium and that's all and like, Japan and Japan yeah, like Japan. He's, yeah, he's for wild. Real. You got a lot of India. When you India's think about huge. It, it's not meant to have this effect. On the world, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's countries, there's not, there's, I, let's, let's just do this so yeah. There's Nigerian bigger countries music, that don't have that influence. Nigerian music does not have the same effect as Jamaican music does on the world. Right. The size of, of Nigeria, you can't even 200 million. Yeah, if you drop so Jamaica I mean, into Nigeria, you lose it. You lose there's 200 it. million people in Nigeria. Exactly. So when you do the maths like that, Jamaica is doing amazing. I hear you, but no, no, I feel what you're saying. Though. No, but I hear you, but you know what it is. It burns me in it. I'm a patron yeah, in it, I'm, I'm right? I'm and when I know that you can produce a brand, I know that I know that you can have the average man in Nigeria make an Afrobeat tune of a hundred million views, yeah, and then you'll have somebody could be perceived as a better artist, etc., and produce a better tune 
And the reason why they've got less views is because they're not putting in a certain level of graft, etc. Or they, the system is set up within Jamaica, unfortunately, yeah. not allowing him to hit yeah. his true potential. And because of that, it's frustrating. No, but like, I'll give another example, yeah? So, see, one second. What, like, I'll give another example, yeah? A brother that um, a DJ with from New York, named Superstar J, right? And networking, you got some of you know that I go a lot of time in America and Dominican, all them places to DJ. My man turned around and he's listened to a few DJs that I made a recommendation to because he's black, was buying people over. And I was trying to say, look, check this person out, rare, rare. And he was saying that, rah, this man got 3,000 followers, 10,000, 1,500. But when he listened to the ability, see, actually, see, you're one of them that I sent him to, yeah? You don't even know, right? He was like, if this brother put in the same work and energy and he was in New York, he'd have 100,000 followers. And he was showing me that, right? But what he's saying is that, yeah, looking at the numbers, but what he's also showing is that, you know what, in America, the way they work their thing enables them to flourish better, even if it's even in a smaller pond or in a smaller state or city. We need Jamaica to operate in a similar capacity to maximise from what we do. So we take over everywhere we but play. You can't, do, but, but I, I get your argument. All right, let's look at this. Let's go back in... It's like, not an argument. I just want better no, for no, us. No. Well, let's go back in the day, yeah? Look at... um, um, What's his name? No Limit. Master P. Yeah. Ooh. Master P was a multi-millionaire yeah, of never music. Heard. And no one outside of the oh. US yeah. heard of him until yeah. he was... Out, uh, uh, until he was a multi-millionaire, yeah, because he has enough people to mm. sell to in his little in his world. In his world, he's got enough people to sell to for Jam for for a Jamaican artist or Jamaican anything to come across the water, like or to have them same numbers. They have to expand countries upon countries upon countries. It goes upon back countries. to the same versus thing and why they need to do. All right, yeah, well, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, but exactly. So as Epic said that. Right? What stopped the mandem? And you, you don't even said it earlier on. What stopped the mandem having a proper conversation with Red Stripe, Digicel, etc., formulating and creating a versus? Yes, it would have started off smaller numbers. Yes, it would have. Yeah. Right? But if you do it properly and over time and build an expansion, because yeah. like you, like we already know, apparently was signed to Swiss Beats. You know, these mm. people have been signed to relevant to relevant record labels. Mm. What is stopping Jamaica from doing the same thing? Yes, it would have had a straight impact straight off the cuff. But there is intelligent people there that can do it. Period. All right. That's that's yeah. that is something. That is something. Maybe I could yeah, patch I you in. I Maybe I could patch you into a conversation with Mataron and you and him can moan together. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, but, that was my Mataron point when I was speaking about it. Though. That was my whole point. Now, why not? Instead of looking at them and saying, Rob, bond the platform, da, 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 why not just say, right, let me, I'm here, innit? Let me do something mm. to make it happen. Yeah, exactly. Do what Corey did. Go and wear a shirt. Yeah, you get me. <laughs> anyway, listen, listen. We're gonna have to wrap this now. But what I want everyone to do, especially, um, I'm gonna let drama start this one there because I'm a. I've been watching the drinky drinky thing, and I've been watching the the Sundays with fully equipped. Oh, so yeah. I kind of want you to just let us know your thought process behind drinky drinky Fridays and what you've been doing on the lives with that. Boy, so with Drinky Drinky Fridays, pretty much, it was a thing of where I didn't want the live just to be a thing of where I'm just there DJing and it's boring because with the Instagram that well, I noticed that people like interaction, they want to be entertained. That's what's going to hold them there. Isn't it? So what can I do to just keep them coming back every time I'm mm. there? So that's where the kind of Drinky Drinky thing came in. Um, just having the bottles of drink, like it's a dance, isn't it? having the lights and everything, set up like you're in a party, just to kind of give the people that type of feeling. Um, I've been doing it for what, eight weeks now? And yeah, man, it's like people are gravitating to it. It's, you're doing like 10 hours, 15 hours standard? All right, look at, look at this week now, for example, yeah? And the 11 hours. I was reasoning and bargaining with the people and they said, oh, you can't come off, that's the shortest you know. I'm like, 11 hours of the shortest, so you have complain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So yeah, it's like it's it's I've been good. The, the, the live um yeah man, um people them yeah, they enjoy it. You know what I mean? So, and do you think that so you would you say that you've benefited from going live on Instagram? So for me, one benefit I would say now I've always had that bashment stigma. 
Oh, I draw my bus make me there. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where at least with the live now, I've been able to kind of show that no, I'm not just bus make me camp here. I play other genres fully in depth as well. Yeah. A lot of people have been surprised. Even some promoters, I won't call them any names, but a certain amount was like, what? Oh, I'm not going to go to play Apple Beat. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. No, you can see, you know what I mean? So that's the good thing, what I've benefited from is that people get to see the variety and range where they might not have saw that before. Yeah, yeah. You just walk in the club and because of the time I'm playing, you're just aiming a bashment and be a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the, one of the main benefits, I would say. Because yeah, I feel like there's, you can get typecast into what, you, into what you're booked for. Mm. I think I'm lucky in that respect that I've always been able to be a multi-genre and people get to know that I can actually do multi-genre. So I kind of get, I'm probably one of the only few around my circle anyway that mm. are dubbed as, yeah, yeah, proper multi-genre. Everyone else I feel gets pigeonholed. I heard like, you're so good DJ still. Yeah, 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 all of that, man. You don't know. Anyway, but yeah, I feel like enough man get pigeonholed. Like, for, for example, Cons, they put him in R&B category. You get what I'm saying? Probably because he, he got a, he, um, he's got an S-curl beard and that. Could be that. But he gets pushed over them side there. He's an R&B dude. Even though I know them man, they can juggle everything. You kind of sometimes get locked into a, into a section where man to think that's all you're about. So... I guess doing your drinky drinky now, people can say, well, okay, you can actually juggle this, juggle R&B, juggle hip hop, juggle this, juggle that, and hopefully it has a great benefit for you. Mm -hmm. So big up yourself. So what times is that then? Friday night, what time you go, what time you start? Friday night from 8 p.m. There's no finish time. I always aim to finish at one o'clock, but sometimes that could like leak over to like seven, eight, <laughs> one, one o'clock the next day. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah, he's done straight fifteen hours straight. Do you do you find that? Have you ever had uh, people stay, like from like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a, in, a like, lot, you know, lot, there's like about five or six people who will stay throughout. The people who log on from early, fall asleep, wake up again, and jab at the thing. <laughs> Coming like the weekend up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, that's mad. That's mad. So, Cor I know, so we spoke about Corey. We know that Corey does his lives. Um, X-rated, I've seen your lives. Um, you, know, you do a reggae thing on a Sunday, right? Yeah, so my, my thing is now, like, I work still. Mm. So I can't do, and I do shift work, so I can't do a regular time. Okay. So I have to look into my roster and say, right, I can go there, I can go there, I can go there, which is probably against me because then the people them don't know when I'm on, on a regular time slot. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what I've tried to do is now I'm probably gonna be doing uh, every every other Sunday. Okay. With that, that I done today, so it's um I call it Preparation Sunday. It's basically mm -hmm. the way I branded it is to help people when they're cooking. So when they're cooking, they're building up the cooking. They put on the music. They what? clean the yard. People, what? people still cook on Sunday. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What are they gonna do? Uh, Try <laughs> some peas on steam fish today. What do you mean? Right now, right now, people people are crying for a McDonald's, and I don't mean. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> no. I went to go and pick up something. There's a Smiths nearby me, and a McDonald's in the same place. The yeah. queue had about fifty-five cars. For McDonald's. My team. My team. What's this? Well, people don't want to cook no more, but I just want to be cooking for eight weeks in it. Yeah, yeah I do a thing. So I'm gonna be basically doing a thing every other Sunday. Yeah, um, it's like rare groove, uh, reggae, lovers, some disco, eighties disco in there, eighties mm. classic. So that sort of vibe on a Sunday, every other Sunday. Yeah, man, it's a good look. Epic. Have you done any lives? Yeah, it's been mostly joining other people. Um, live still. So like a few promoters that I've, I've done shows for. Yeah. They, they they have like either monthly events that they normally book before, yeah. and they've brought those brands online and done shows. So I've been okay. invited to do a lot of those. I've been doing Zoom parties as well, yeah. dance all episode and and the works. Yeah. Um, in terms of doing a regular thing, because I have a sound system that had a problem the sound, so I've mm. got DJs in Jamaica that are doing regular slots throughout the tip because mm. that's the only thing they, they they know they're doing. So I don't want to be competing with. What, what time they are and splitting splitting the numbers and then some of my DJs are in California. I've got two in Florida. All these different time zones, so people are on different days, different times, and sometimes mm. even my, my me myself now. You understand? I can mm. I want to go live, and then next thing I have a label calling me or an artist show to me video call. Yo, one voice this one do this. So 
my thing kind of splits a different way where if I'm doing something, then I have to tell, all right, Spice, yo, I'm not going to have available for my phone, shatter. Mm. Da, 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 da. You can't shop about this and cyclone mm. or wh- wh- whichever artist I might be doing a project with. Uh, mm. You know, the thing go already, C6. Mm. So we, we DJing, but also. Put yeah, man, you got your thing going on. Yeah, I, see, so. I see you clash the other day on. on um, yeah, man. And yeah. even that clash, that, that, that clash, just look, look on it. I mean. Did you I win? Might, huh? Did you win? No, 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 no. Then. They buy a 14 thing, they think they'll go by Musically, 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 musically <laughs> everybody said I won, but then obviously it's the not vote, music the thing judged by. Yeah. The voting thing is mad, but I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. I said some of the Marcia Griffiths, them, I say, eh, yes, what an epic, you know. Um, <laughs> so, but, and, and your son's got a tune out, yeah? Yes, yeah, so the, take one. the only reason why I take up that clash really too is because I was going to drop my son's song around about the same time, so all that traction where people are posting and tagging mm. and going and and the profile visits reached up to about 8,000 something. Mm. When I looked right. at my profile visits for that week of, uh, of the clash, and that's mm. the same week I just got my son's song. I mean, I look at my son's song now, ten to, oh, over, oh, over 10,000 streams. And I mean, this is somebody that never dropped a song before. No big label doing COVID. We're not doing no promotion like that. It's just me mm. reaching out to my people. And so, so to me, so- I get what I wanted out of, out of the whole clash and, and thing because some people look and say, ah, Yo, we can't just box if you can have just this producer, this radio presenter, this mm. man with us, you know, industry music and everything. They man they have some dub and they man they can compete and yeah, clash. Yeah. yeah, so. And then, as I said, C6, they're promoting to the yeah. amount of persons, DJs, yeah, girls yeah. that post the flyer, tag you. Yeah. They draw attraction. So, so, so for on that level, I encourage any DJ where they have something else working on. J- Take jump. Up the, the competition, yeah, man. Them rivalry things can work mm. in your favor yeah. if it's for you. That's good look, man. So, yeah. so epic day one glitch. Yeah, that's the tune, yeah. Yeah, man, glitch. All Tick right, viral. It. and it's available everywhere, yeah. Available everywhere. All right, so let's check that out. And you know, say epic stand for it, entertaining people increases knowledge. Yes, I remember sir. this, you know. Man. <laughs> it used to be on a radio station. Two thousand FM. Blows. So I don't forget that. I remember, you know, because he was the first man I see with a laptop. Them time oh, there, I was CD man, you know, and I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking, where is this laptop DJ? I go, I want this. <laughs> man, they can't take. They want, I want this. And it was serious. His laptop was loaded, but I felt like I came from one of them schools where, like, it, it was so, I know, hard, man. so hard to come off a of vinyl. You used to school on the deep CD man, them, and then when you go like to you. CD, People like him are joking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what the thing is? They can't, you know, can't, miss, it. C- you can't miss it. You can't miss it. I read with C6. He, he would tell you straight up. It's not even you. You're not going to hear no whispers or whatever. No, man. He used to forward in the studio if he's doing the show after and say, yo, you know, really, not them thing. all them things they work. I <laughs> don't think they know my life for yeah. film and a touch a record and then something there and CD yeah. and... Yeah. Going to Meantime Lounge, <laughs> bringing my own deck. Cause there was no deck on the sound. I'm walking. The man be like, brother, set up over this a bit. The sound over here, say you no. Know? Man, set up over this. Yeah, man. If you have a long cable, I go to the sound to plug in. My red, my red and white. You know, go through that in computer, too, man. I have some man that I used to get booked for dancing on C6. Uh, uh, and a man, the man, the, the sound system that is booked, all, all in booked for is to provide the sound, not to play. And they might tell you, don't put the computer on the And they say, listen, you cannot plug the computer into the sound tonight. I mean, I say, so, oh, me, I'm going to collect my money. And them time, they, them time, yeah, I'm using, <laughs> I'm using a SL. But I say, I'm going to cut the sound virus, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, the man said, Listen, you give a sound virus, my answer gonna blow up on the island. Brother, C6, if I tell you some of the story, they would me up. Uh, you know, my next breath in polar beer. The man yeah, said, yeah, Jones, yeah. Jones, I know him quiet. You all do one. I tell you, the dog, I hurt you know, hurt some other people in the dog. <laughs> you know, it's the worst, yeah. When you yeah. go and find the sound man, they must seal the back of the deck. Yeah, yeah, man, you can't yeah. plug in nothing. Yo, plug in. Yo. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I have to ease the front of the deck and pull it out. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. But you know what? In saying that, everybody goes through it, you know. So even though you guys were like pro- like pioneers in the laptop thing, when controllers came about, I'm sure oh, you had God. the same the same fool. When when people are putting controllers on decks, and I'm oh. sure that will piss oh, you. you see that? Let me tell you something. I hate it. You see? You see? see? No. You are that joking at your blood cloud. I hate it. <laughs> Up to this day, mm. 
people scan control. I have, listen episode. to me. I have bought every full size controller there is. You see, if I go to a party and there are CDJs and you're using a controller, I can't respect you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that as well. I don't care who the guy. How can you have CDJ 2000s and you're putting a control on top of it? Yeah. What are you doing with your life? That's it. Yeah, but, then that's, but that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's just different strokes. For different, like every single new piece of equipment, the older DJs oh, I, I, the new thing. I use them. I have no problem using them, but put it beside the deck, fam. Not yeah, on top yeah. of the fucking deck. You're embarrassing the deck. Yeah. <laughs> you're respecting the deck, fam. Bloody, it doesn't make sense to it. Some of the controllers like they, they have. Oh, like when I go and put a <laughs> computer, computer on top of the turntables, I, I feel stressed. I normally ask, where's the turntable cover? Because it, it annoys me. Yeah, yeah. It's, that, it's no respect. It's no respect for the, for the thing, man. But listen, guys, listen. We've def- up, definitely, C-C's. definitely, definitely yeah, run over some major time. Um, enough respect for having you all in the building. Um, I say I've known you all separately and I respect your hustle, I respect your DJ, I respect your DJs and as men you carry yourself well. So respect for coming into the live and doing cool. and doing the thing. Corey, I know you got a party to do, so I hope you go and share that. Yourself um, too. All right, cool. um, yeah, big I up. I may have closed the party. So do, before we go quickly, everybody just give out your socials and your, your Insta lives and whatever you want to give out and then they just wrap it up neatly. So feel free, anybody. All right, I'm Conspiracy. Catch your Instagram, Twitter, all our relevant handles, DJ Conspiracy One. Um, look out for this is a breaking news. I, while I was here, I got the message confirmed. Look out for my dance IOU live, what I've been doing for about 12 years this Saturday. Um, and also my shot o'clock party tomorrow, um, or to, today, if it depends on when you're going to hear this as well. Um, and that is it. Respect, my brother. Big up. Yeah. X? Uh, yeah, um, DJ X rated Love Cole for my um, Instagram lives. Them, like I said earlier, I've got the um, preparation Sundays, which is going to be every other week, which I might or probably are going to drag into Zoom because I, I do like the Zoom thing still. I'm not going to lie, get interacting with the people there, and yeah, I like that mm-hmm. feel still. So, I'm going to probably drag it onto the Zoom soon. And also, um, I've got my brand and bringing back I Love the 90s, which is strictly 90s R&B, hip hop, garage, anything 90s. Yeah, that's the thing. That's going to be back in a few weeks on IG Live as well. So, yeah. Good luck, man. Good luck. That's Epic. Good. Yeah, man. Um, Epic Jones, and that's E P I K J O N E S. And that's Epic Jones across every single platform you can think of. And um, they don't know promotion as, as we already um, punch and plug. Epic Day Kwan right now. Glitch of the future. Yeah, yeah man. So, yeah, word. Man, investment in the youth. Yeah, wicked, wicked, yeah. wicked. Marcus Drama. Marcus Drama, one half of Fully Equipped Sound. Um, Instagram at Marcus Drama underscore Fully Equipped. Um, also at Fully Equipped Sound. Um, Instagram live, Friday night, Drinking Drinking Fridays from 8 o'clock. Um, Sundays, myself and Zeki, full Fully Equipped team, each every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. Yeah, man, respect. And, and Corey? Um... Sir DJ Corey, one word, every platform, like everyone. Um, if you if you wanna go Insta Live, then just look in my bio on Instagram, and it's all there. That's it. All right. I say a word, fat. Over to you, bro. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. Big up everyone for coming through. Tomorrow we'll be on SoundCloud at Fats Official UK on the SoundCloud, and we'll be on YouTube Deck One Deck Two on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, everyone like the link in, in, in Spotify as well. Still, yeah, like everyone, you don't get the link, obviously, and we're on Spotify as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. So just search Deck One, Deck Two. Yeah, I'm on Spotify too. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I right, listen. Respect everyone, man. Enough love, right. love, 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 love,